What's up, guys? We are here in just outside St. Louis, Missouri, in St. Charles, with one, two, three members of the Inn of Planar Crossroads, and I don't have to chew you out for 20 minutes to get you to sub this time. But if you don't sub to that channel, we can't be friends. <laughs> we're playing another one shot, and we're all in the same room. This is, it's still kind of surreal to me. I've been with you. This guy made me breakfast this morning, and that was weird. Waking <laughs> <laughs> up to the smell of bacon. Yeah, it was super tight. And, and it wasn't Canadian bacon. Either. It wasn't. You <laughs> cheated me. <laughs> That's really cool. I have touched all of them at least once. Yes. It was so, pleasurable. Adam was here too, <laughs> my OPC, with this wee little baby, and we did that for a while, and then I got to. Play with an eight year old at Pathfinder, and it was real cool. Adam, we wish you could have made it. This is going to be another Lord of the Caliber one shot. Like the Battle of Fort Randick was a little bit of Xavier's backstory. Don't watch that. Donald, don't watch this. It'll spoil stuff for Lucia. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, I guess I'm going to roll a d4. But before I do that, this Adam, thank you for your support on Patreon. We're going one, two, three, four. This is where the hero point. Kane, you are first if you would please introduce everyone's favorite character. I thought he was three. One, two, three, four. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Mouthful of Cheetos. Cheetos is why I get the cheesy poops out of my fingers. I'm <laughs> get cheesy poops. And then I'll actually, before you introduce your character, let me, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of premise. You guys are, I don't have the map meter seat, but you guys are in Geb right now. You are the last. Ahead of my head, there's gonna be like six. The last four of the strike team that is liberated a bunch of random crap, essentially from a lich's stronghold, hoping yeah. to secure his phylactery. <laughs> you guys have a lot, a lot, a lot of just random nothing, and there was there's probably like think D Day has gone down, and you are know, literally the last four to walk away. The lich has been temporarily imprisoned in a deadly plane. You'll find I do that a lot. <laughs> Cashew has never been a strike team before. <laughs> <laughs> Among all the stuff you have, and a lot of it is truly just random, because this lich is one of the most powerful liches on Galarian. I'll do that. You guys have secured his spell book. Oh, stop! <laughs> Savage. Savage. You guys have secured the Ligris Mortis. <laughs> You've secured the most, like, it's supposed to be one of the most powerful books of necromancy on Galarian. And now you have to find your way out of Geb and back to Absalom, where you're going to meet up with the contact and take all this stuff to safety. Now, there's Cashier. Hello, my name is Cashier. And, uh, like I said, I've never been on a strike team before. <laughs> uh, but I am uh, an agent of Megda. <laughs> That's how he says it. <laughs> and I am a captain of fate. I go where I must, when I must, how I must. And apparently that means I stole some shit from a very old, very angry man. <laughs> Not a man, presently a little awakened rat is the body. He tends to magic jar as the eons go on. A very angry not. rat. Uh, uh, take your hero point. Yeah. I see you looking at me begging. Oh no. no. <laughs> Next up is Kanadam. Continue up. No? It's gonna be just like, there you go, Greg. You can introduce yourself. <laughs> My name's Rick. <laughs> hey, they make me see so boom. <laughs> and that's my family to his mother and friends and family to his and dead people and boom! <laughs> so you listen to a family barbecue, you know, like, <laughs> it was evil! <laughs> the evil got them. The evil barbecue. I think we can just go boom. Okay, now take that here. <laughs> Next up is. You, Adam. Uh, Dragon Nine Hide. That's a real name. Playing a male human fighter uh, from the Olfen named Tui. Uh, spent most of his life up there learning to fight bigger things and has mastered the art of the polearm. Fair enough. Take that here. Well, I guess we should say Ogre Shadow Dancer, eventually human arcanist, human fighter, leading up to over here. Someone went impressed for the session and showed up <laughs> from Chicago with nothing. <laughs> so I told him we could play a CR11 creature, and he's playing a what again, Colin? An animated Bastila. Bastila. Uh, Gatebreaker Bastila. Ballista! Is this Ballista. A, is it nice Ballista. and old public? A Bastila <laughs> is a big ass tortoise. Yeah. Ballista. Guys, <laughs> not how you say that word. <laughs> 
you're playing in Verizia. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, uh, long syllable. <laughs> this, uh, this weird guy over here, he's the one who made me. I'm not really <laughs> sure who's in charge of who anymore. I, I seem to be the more sane of the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, um, you think that you'd have some sort of crazy identity thing going on when you first realize that you're an object, not a person, and you're like made to blow crap up, but... You were, you were programmed to treat like existential situations as null. Like. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's whatever. I, I, I make it work. Fair enough. Do you have a spell story, by the way? Is that something you picked up? No. Uh, no? No. Fireball okay. javelin? No fireball javelin? <laughs> <laughs> It, it intensifies fireball travel. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be a weapon. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm the siege engine. All right, you take that hero point. You could do spell storing bolts, but we didn't have enough. Money. That's good. That's, yeah. that's right. So you guys fight yourselves. You guys are. I'm gonna like this board isn't this round, but there's another board that I made John Major. He would like essentially if this is Garund and this is Absalom, you guys are like there. Okay. And you need to be here before here comes and kills you and turns you into undead service. Or, or, maybe the or in your case, I don't know what. The evening of final death. We'll say you guys start on like, I think like a drop ship. Well, not like, like Warhammer. It's next to the old Republic. <laughs> I was going to say Starship Troopers, but yeah, no. More like, like on the lines of D-Day, the boat has to be big enough for the Colossal Ballista. So then by the Colossal Ballista is pointed in the backwards direction, like, I don't know how long you're gonna march. This is you on the port. That's six <laughs> The floor is your guys's. Uh, okay. Uh, we're taking we're taking delicious things. You have a lot of stuff, and you need to give it to Absalom. We're supposed to meet up with someone who will take it from you, and then take it somewhere else. Is there anything I can do to make things go wrong? Is there anybody here to teleport? The forecaster begins looking. This is no. However, good. So I, I, however, reason around that now. However, uh, Rick is going to cast. Uh, how big is how big is the boat? It has to be at least colossal. I'm going to say there's a little mounting like bit on the front and back where he came from. Yeah. So I'm just going to say that for the for the purposes of fun and. Should think he's just bolted to the outside of the ship. Yeah, Colin. What the hell is the name? Uh, of the you have to have a name. Oh gosh, he probably named me. What's the name of his character, Greg? Boom. Be merciful. Boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> I'm booming. <laughs> he makes me go boom. See, all these kind of illiterate, like creativity of a four-year-old with a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what what Rick is actually going to do, uh, for the sake of argument? Is he's actually because we're we're on a boat itself and we're traveling. Mm -hmm. uh, the rear of the boat, he is going to cast tiny huts. Sure, seems good. <laughs> Real good spell. <laughs> Over top of the ballista, who is pointing backwards, ready to fire, <laughs> and basically creating a massive shield on the rear of the boat. Fair enough. <laughs> So he's just pointed at the front door of the demon sign yes? Yeah, basically. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, created like one of those like, bold, those little uh, B-52 bomber like fucking gunner shells. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So the boat you guys are on right now is programmed. And it will last like, 22 hours. Like it's programmed to go like you went here, and then it will take you back to a bigger ship. You guys have <laughs> perhaps like five minutes before you get back to... Mm, not like this has like a full dreadnought, but not like, not the boat you're in either. Okay, uh, I don't really do the ranged combat so much. No, I don't really encounter right now. I have a lot of sticks. <laughs> sticks. They make dark stuff. They do. Um, I have a bow, but it's it's not as good as the bow that's outside. Such <laughs> 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 a large one. <laughs> Um, if but, nobody has any actions, I can fast forward. I mean, I read the book. Cashew is it's looking at cards. That one looks like a cat. He <laughs> likes it. That one. You went down. You just like to throw cat. Yeah. You should consult professional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Pretty much. <laughs> so, does anyone have an action? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it, much, well, it depends on if we have something coming at us. Yeah. 
us. You do not. Not yeah. now. It's you have to come back from it. Well, and that's the thing. The reason I cast was basically the idea that if anything gets fired at us, it makes it more difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we, we know where we're going. Mm. Yeah. You're going to get back to that boat. And once you get back to the boat, there's like, there's the Ooh, boat actually. with the boat. And that boat was going to be so long. Yeah. Do we have anything of the lich? Mmm. I'm grabbing the percentage dice. This is how you GM, kids. Higher than 50. You do not. You guys have, like I said, you have the Liberus Mortis. You have like the, the big book of necromancy. Do we have the phylactery? You don't know. You have no idea. It was just go in, yeah, grab as much random as you can, and go. Okay. Damn. <laughs> not like 2 e or the phylactery. Uh, it's a big crystal. Okay, mm. because I would have tried to take a piece of that. Do you, uh, you guys have? Uh, probably like just ancient. Geb is like necromancer Egypt. So, so actually, in, in that case, of, can I try to. Um, yeah. Overarching, it detect magic with school for necromancy itself to like detect the flactor. Sure, yeah, you can. Let's percentage dice of the only way you GM. A seven. Okay, so the Liberus Mortis itself certainly has an overwhelming necromancy aura because again, it's the big book of necromancy. Okay, uh, but whether or not that's the flactor, you don't know. Everything else has a lot of. Or is it can I do a uh, check on that either Arcana, Spellcraft? Sure, um, go on. Which which would you prefer? Either or your call. I mean, Whatever you can justify works. We probably shouldn't. They are the same score, so whether I roll well or not. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, ten plus uh, twenty-three, so that is a thirty-three. And we're just trying to like <laughs> trying to piece in from the detect magic to see if this is. A yeah, basically, basically the idea is to detect if it's a flat tree or if there's any specific. Okay. Okay. Um, connection to the village itself. Mm, I'm not sure. You're not sure. I guess I should say it's it's weird. It doesn't feel like a spell book. That's for sure. Every it kind of okay. feels like as if it's written backwards, upside down, with the tech magic and stuff. Can you know, I maybe. read any of it? Yeah, you can certainly open it. Sure. You might as well try to read it uh, to get an idea of what's going on. Okay, that's um, probably a spell card check. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, that is a three-one. Okay, so certainly any necromancy spells you'd like to prep, they're there. You given the time, you can read them. Okay. Uh, so what he's actually going to end up doing, for sake of argument, uh, how long until we reach the boat? Mm, not long. Maybe like thirty minutes. Well, I'll say the full hour, so you can swap out spells. That's fair. Uh. He probably copied a lot of the spell books, the spells into his spell book. Okay. Um, but if if we only got an hour, because uh, technically phylactery would be considered part of the body of the lich, I correct? Think right. Yeah. Um, you know what he's actually going to do instead of doing that, instead of copying the, the spells, he'll try to do that later. Okay. But what he's going to do is he's going to cast create treasure map. Sure. On the book itself, as if it were part of the body of the lich, to see whether or not it actually is the flattery. Okay. Basically, to, to rule it out as if it is or is not, as well as any fun treasures that it has that can make things go boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so the first thing you find when you cast this, and you find this even just flipping through it, in the middle of the book, it's like it's been obscured a whole bunch in like backwards, upside down. Yep. Random magic language, but it looks like an infernal contract. You don't, you don't know which, the who. It's not the him, because it's all. It's very like you got to stop at linguistics. Which like that. that that I I probably would have because we talked about this prior to the stream in terms of the, the major languages, okay. especially for casters, infernal being yeah. one, demonic yeah. being. You know, so he would technically have That's infernal. Fair. Okay, yeah, it's definitely it's a contract to to the uh, the archfiend Lorcan. Okay. And it, it references a like a minor chelish noblewoman. Okay. You don't. She's not. I'm sorry, Donald. She's not that important. She's <laughs> the son of or the daughter of a nobleman who's been recently disgraced. Her name is Lucia Lacroix, and it's like there's been a lot of tampering with that contract as well. You're not sure exactly what that means, but you can tell the contract has been altered by a third party. I forgot how much I like Lord of the Rings. 
Oh, yeah, they're delicious. Uh, yeah, so, okay, so in addition, now, the treasure map uh, it leads you to where she is, because it's like there's... You would actually point out, so she's one of the treasures that would pick she's up? She's in the middle of Cheliax. Okay, and you're there, any, the any other um, objects of interest? that Because uh, as per the spell of uh, create treasure map, it will uh, actually... Let me pull it up to make sure I have the exact wording. Um, it reveals the location of one source of treasure for every three caster levels you possess. So that would technically mean that I would get four, four. treasures. Sure. Okay. Uh, sorry, three treasures. Does it does it like three. is it restricted at this point? Uh, it doesn't say. Okay. In that case, it definitely it points straight back to like where the door to the pocket dimension where the wish is right now. Yeah. It also points to it points to my percentages. 60, 61, okay. Uh, it points to one of the daggers that you pick up, like a little, like, it's almost like a baby compassion. Oh, so that in itself would be, would lead us to a location? Well, I guess this location, then. Like, it points to okay, so immediately okay. to your left, which is that. Okay. And it, like, it doesn't respond to it, but you can tell it's more than meets the eye. Okay. And for the fourth one, those are d20s. <laughs> That's not a percentage! <laughs> All it is, it's a something. 51. Uh, um, what else can I give you? I have a, I have a blood rage. The sound of you going through puberty. Um, <laughs> thanks! I've got a Shadow Desert Fighter. I'm fucking full of stuff. And an Arcanist. Uh, Who makes the motion? Um, Honestly, it's feeling kind of useless right now. It points you to. Does that mean? There's, a, there's a little diadem with a, with a gem. In the like set in it, and upon closer inspection, it opens like this, and then inside there's a pearl of power, highest spell level you can cast. Oh uh, yeah, he'll, he'll put that on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll put that on. I'm sure this looks wonderful for the viewers. I guess, but uh, it opens up like a flower. Pretty much. Let <laughs> <laughs> me take some out of the rest on now. <laughs> <laughs> and if, if unless anybody else has anything else to look at the ship. Yeah, no. I'm just. Bored because I mean, this whole time I've been fighting undead and crap, and I'm a brilliant energy bullet, so I can't fucking touch them. I mean, there's a lot of dudes with armor, and a lot of like, this is the most powerful necromancer in the area. And he's had so millennia to kill and people. Okay. And, like, they'll have so, armor. Uh, what he'll, so the yeah, power can for undead or not yeah. wouldn't really matter. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's why brilliant energy isn't actually that good. <laughs> Whoopsies. Are you in enchant- You can turn off the enchantment. I didn't just, hey, have that. That's great. Oh. Um, quick question with Pearl Power. That, that is just, I can replace the it's spell slot. Essentially, one extra right? spell slot okay. for a nice level. So you guys reach the main ship and you kind of like, you dock with the side that automatically raises. Can I get a perception check from the four of you? Yep. Remember, in Tommy's games, natural 20s are great, natural ones are bad. What about a 19? Maybe. I mean, it's probably good. Uh, just, just as a side note for the viewers, that these guys never believe that I actually roll like this. Don't, do not. <laughs> and in the last two days, they have actually seen me yeah. prove that this actually happened. He's just lucky, I guess. Twenty-three. 20. I'm not allowed in Vegas. They don't let me back. Eighteen. Uh, Twenty. Uh, that would be a twenty-eight. Okay, that's much better. A, a thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay, so you guys can all clearly tell from both like sight and for 75% of you, the smell. There's a lot of death on this ship. A cursory glance at the top deck, there's a lot of bodies like thrown over the side halfway and like their intestines are pulled out, tied around the rigging, dudes hanging from the mast, dudes like head, hands, like the fingers pulled out a hand to be replacing the spokes of the wheel. It's pretty easy to tell that the entire crew of the ship has been massacred. You guys also know that the, like that boat you're on will boop, boop, and that's all it will do. If you guys want to get out of this in one, in one piece, you need to figure out how the four of you are going to operate this ship. Can I do an engineering check? You can. <laughs> <laughs> National 20, they all come back from the dead. Um, I think I'll skeleton crow that. I'm going to make a kind of BS board. God damn it, why did I get rid of that staff? <laughs> so, I didn't have the staff with raised it. And you can get an spell you want to prepare out of the book. Out of the book, yeah. yeah. Twenty-three, knowledge engineering, and a natural sixteen plus my engineering, which is a thirteen, so that is a twenty-nine. Okay. Anybody else have any actions they want to do? This isn't going to look that much like a boat. 
That was close. Especially once you yes. dump your dice all over your left. I caught him. It's good. We're good. All right. So, so uh, um, I hear one knowledge engineering here, another knowledge engineering. Uh, can I take the brilliant really energy on and off, or is that just something I take off altogether? You can you can turn it off as a standard action. You can suppress. Okay. It's fine. Oh, I'm gonna probably have it suppressed then. Yeah. Because uh, we're going on to this depth. Because you you spent a lot of days shooting at a lot of the D Day style on the ballista. On the boat, you're the ballista. Yeah. That's <laughs> weird. That don't make no sense. How do you do that? Take notes now if you watch. I don't know if you watch or not. Maybe take notes from the previous game where the, the witch, you know. <laughs> Witches are a one trick kind of, that's a good trick. <laughs> it's a great trick. Best trick. All right, so you guys, the two of you with the knowledge engineers, you then begin looking around and you get the basic ideas of how to operate a ship. But there's only like, there's two of you. Um, if I take... Is there so a way we can just blow up the other ship? That way we don't die. There, there is no other ship as of right now, yeah. right? I mean, there's, you guys oh, have a yeah, like, taxi. Thought. You've already done well, the taxi. Oh, yeah. You guys are like, whoop, 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 there. Yeah, it's a, oh, it, it'll take you back to Ged. I was going to destroy the big one. Yeah, that, that's your way out. That's it. our only way out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, we could destroy the taxi so we can't is, catch up but via taxi. Is there is there a raise, a raise that spell in the... Yeah, there are several anime death spells. No, I mean skeleton the crew. spell. Is skeleton crew. Well, that, that's fair. What level is that? Level one. Is mm -hmm. it? Nice. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Create. Yeah, sure. If if if, if there's a level level one uh, skeleton crew, we could do the Argos movie, the, Sin, the Sinbad freaking movie from like the eighties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can also do the DLC from the first Fable game. Yes, we can. <laughs> so if that's the case, uh, and we can do that, I'm just gonna um, put level the spell it is. Skeleton crew. It's weird how you type skeleton crew in in Google and you won't get the Pathfinder spell right away. Yeah. It's like that's a real word. I'm so not used to that. Alright, so we got. The internet where we're staying is not the best. Use your data. You live in this country. I'm on the Wi Fi. And the data, the data is worse than the Wi Fi. It is a Sorcerer Wizard 4. Sorcerer Wizard 4? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's your spell list, right? Is Narcus? Yeah, that totally is. Then I will. God damn! I was kind of hoping for an RP moment. <laughs> I mean, you can still with, have it with, with, with the spell. Uh, is there a possibility of me using, swapping the spell in and then out, or no? Uh, you burn up the spell slot. You need to rest. But yeah, I mean, you could. You I mean, mind. you could just rip the page out. Well, like, basically, I would it's like to just... scroll. I, I would yeah. like. Yeah. Could what? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I don't know how good of an idea it is to rip a page out of the Lippers Fortis, but. Donald's we, gonna be so mad. We could definitely try. Um, so, if I were to prepare that, it would burn a slot? Or is that what yeah, you're It would use one spell slot, or you could like rip it out of the book and it becomes a scroll. Uh, and, but I can't cast it from the book. Right. Yeah, the spell book does not equal spell slots. Um. Uh, hmm. You know what? It's uh, yeah. I'm gonna so I'm gonna do that. I'm actually going to to, to swap that spell out for um, God damn it! Uh, my greater visibility. Okay, sure. So I will and I will cast that. So that takes about an hour. Yeah. You guys have any other? The seas are pretty calm right now. Like sometimes it's a little choppy. I don't think there's anything I can do. At okay. this point, because I'm pretty sure skeleton, well, thematically, skeleton crew will definitely use the bodies of the sailors. Yeah, yeah, it definitely will. It will it'll give him. Uh, they are one of those skeletons that have profession sailor ranks equal to half your character level plus your your intelligence. Yeah. Yeah. So five plus nine. Mm -hmm. I think it's a. I'm trying sorry, to how many sorry, much. The, these skeletons, these one hit die skeletons will have 14 ranks in promotion sailor. And yeah. he gets twice as cast, so he gets 22 of them? Yeah. Okay. That's, cool. that's, that's less than a full complement, but I mean, you guys yeah, also... Yeah, we, we just trips. need a skeleton. We need to get moving. ba da ba <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can, can Says I, the guy who hates the punny language. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well done, man. Uh, yeah, but at least my puns are... Uh, <laughs> is there any... Uh, I know there's a special word for it, but like, 
combat docking supplies? Uh, what do you mean? Like boarding action supplies? Or? Yeah. So like gaffs, uh, boarding Plank axes, axes, ropes, planks. Yep, yep. Ropes with grappling hooks. Well, it's, it's little less than what you probably find like on the dropships that have sunk in the Elbari Ocean. But I mean, there's enough stuff that the crew could defend themselves. Some of them are twisted and broken. Some of them are like a boarding axe, like your some dude's skull. I'll set up like an equal amount on either side. Sure. Just so if something does come up, we have supplies ready. Okay, uh, fair enough. Alrighty. What if I could get my way up with the crow's nest of this thing and just shoot down at things? Hard no. Hard you maybe. so big. Well, I got a plus 18 to acrobatics. The percentage so. dice, well, I'm just, do you have a fly speed? How do you move? What is the propulsion on this thing? Wheels, I would assume. The yeah. wheels on the broken thing go around it. Well, if, 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 if we can do a permanency on him, which wouldn't have been too problematic, I could have cast fly on him. That seems so good. So, may the dice be ever in your favor, the 14 says, the, the guy in the crow's nest was a half like, don't do it. It'll be real bad for you. Okay. It's like Kane in the bunk beds, we're staying. <laughs> <laughs> They're so close to the ceiling. <laughs> can you sit up? No. He can, but... No, he can't. <laughs> he can get stuck like 30 degrees. He can <laughs> barely like lay on his side without his shoulder touching the ceiling. Yeah, I, uh, I went to get out of bed this morning and I backed up my ass at the ceiling and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we could do that. <laughs> I didn't know I had that kind of range to my arc. <laughs> so Colin, you can set up like, and this this map is it's it exists, but it's kind of arbitrary because boats aren't giant squares, guys. But like anywhere along the sides or like up on the front where there's like, what do I look like? like so if the stuff in front of us, like this thing's already dead. I'm thinking that the people uh, that there's been more stuff that. Sank ahead and saw necromancied up, and I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna go to the front of where this thing's going to. Alright. Watch out this for stuff. Angry starfish in the middle. Well, uh, he's dead too. That's actually what the blood and guts of everybody looks like. Oh. Um, Turns out. Good set. Good set. <laughs> arrows in the circle. They drew a map in the blood. We yeah. Fall you go this way. <laughs> Absalom's over there. So if nothing else happens, if you guys have nothing else to do. Uh, yeah, I don't have ranks in professional sailor. Casting skeleton crew does resolve. It's, it's definitively an evil action. Rick definitely knows some of the people he's brought back from the dead. I don't think that bothers him, but... <laughs> they await your orders. It's a family reunion! Look at that, Donald! This session is for you! And in 20 minutes, someone did more necromancy than Lucy ever has. <laughs> he's coming. We're going to protect this year. <laughs> Everybody, I don't know. Your cases, and we're going to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, so I have a question. Cashew's really known. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Do I can I conceptualize what Rick is doing and why we need him to do it? Oh uh, yeah, probably. You have a basic idea that necromancy not nice. Necromancy you bad. Another idea that like you will die from more necromancy and become kind a of necromancy yourself. Perhaps you're dead worse. Believe <laughs> <laughs> me, I saw the video my sister was not present. So I'm gonna roll percentage dice. Tell you it's very sorry. I don't want to roll twenty two profession sailor checks. So. <laughs> So, they, okay, so they all do pretty Oh, when you do it like that, it's just like Rick is crying and laughing at the same time. He probably is! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very uncomfortable. If anybody has actually seen... FYI, if anybody has ever seen Evil Dead, you understand Rick. <laughs> anybody who watched the Evil Dead, the ship gets underway, the sails are furled. The sails definitely have, like, they're torn. Bodies are, like, hung from them, hung from the rigging. It's... Very, very macabre, very disgusting. And the ones in the, that are in the ring are singing a sea shanty. What's going on? They suddenly begin playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag. <laughs> As the ship goes way too fast <laughs> and slows down way too easy. Yeah. Way, way, way. <laughs> Alright, the ship gets underway. You guys have, it's, it's probably a couple weeks to have so long from where you are, but you're not in like immediate danger. Okay. The ship has several uh, several decks that could be like explored and stuff. It's for now it's pretty quiet. You assume there's going to be a retaliation at some point. Yeah. Because if that traps, um, something's gonna happen. 
while we're doing that, then Rick is going to spend some uh, some time with that book, translating a lot of like what's in it. Sure. Okay. Um, and copying over that to his spell book as well. Okay. Fair enough. What level are the cabins? What level are them? Are they? I'm good at English. What level are them? Well, you do come from the south. I do. <laughs> uh, how how do the like the cannons on each deck? How do they look for? I feel bad for having you play a ballista because cannons definitely exist in the setting. But it's okay because you have you're, you're cool. How do uh, they he look? does a lot more damage than any cannon. Yeah, he's uh, a little smarter too. How do they look for like yeah. you know, stock oh, and cool. provision and? Mm, they're not bad off. As some of them are pretty broken. Some of them are like intentionally like warp metal, so they're like pretzled out, so ah. they can't be used. But there's you got a couple that have survived. As far as the the bunks, the bunks are pretty far down. You said what level? And I'm like, they don't have a CR. You sleep on them. They aren't mimics. <laughs> they're good. Excellent. They're horrible. Be careful. They'll toss and turn. <laughs> Dead. Better or worse than a Ramada? Air, air mattresses. Mm, about what we slept on. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, you got the master. I was it's an air mattress. This place it's an air mattress. mattress. It's an air mattress. It's a huge air mattress. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe I should have slept on the couch. Yeah, those couches are pretty good. <laughs> it's the ants. We gotta go back to the ants. It's the ants to work. Maybe the couch is comfy. Secure the ship before we start. Just yeah, traveling. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. We're, we're, well, we're gonna have the, the skeleton tr- crew do its thing over on a secure the ship. I think. Right, but yeah. you you were going to do the, the bookie worms. Well, well, it, 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 spoken like a fighter. <laughs> you do the bookie worm stuff. What's his wizard shit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do we want to do that? Can we can we retroactively say that that's what we were doing while he was taking? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're going to secure the ship during the hour it takes Rick to swap out a fourth level spell to prepare skeleton crew. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so let's have both of you make perception checks down if you want. Hot and dark. Oh, I'm still sitting out there on the oh. I'm uh, just waiting. Alright, it's plus 9, 24. 24 perception. Did I get a perception as well? I actually have a perception. Yeah. Uh, he can squeeze through the corpse. 30. Uh, that is an 11. So, so 11, 35, 24. So for calling. It's pretty calm. It's it's almost like they're like on the main deck. Uncanny bed. <laughs> so there's bodies floating around in the water with broken bits of drop shit. Again, it's like this is the after effects of D Day with necromancy. Essentially. Yeah. Like bits of like zombie arm wrapped around some dude's neck that's like pulled him down and choked him out. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. The remains of yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. big metal jacks in the sand in front of the German pillbox. I wanna say a skeleton oh, squid, but a skeleton squid doesn't make no sense. That would it's a little beat. Yeah, just a little like, ah, I'm a kraken! <laughs> Zombie krakens. Uh, Keshu also has a dark vision. I don't know. Well, it's, 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 it's literally that mind flare that's only the fucking beak. <laughs> Did you perk light this time? Light? Hell no. It's me. I radiate light. In fact, my guy has been umbra. <laughs> <laughs> There's like something to conceal in the dark, <laughs> damn it! As for you, so you guys definitely find more. Yeah. However, uh, so if we have time to prep new spells, he would prep. Uh, yeah, prep you're light, doing that as your light versus penumbra. Yeah, because he no longer has light sensitivity. Thanks to us being level eleven versus level six, like I originally thought we to be, which is why I had you. penumbra. Right. 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 Yeah, Kashu does not work at level six. He's not. So you guys find a lot of bodies. Around, like going around under like a lot of people were killed in their sleep. A lot of people were killed animated in their sleep, then killed by the friends, or killed animated in their sleep, killed the friends. There's a lot of back and forth there. It seems secure. There's no holes in the ship. There's no anything super crazy. I'm gonna throw this D20 out for no reason. Okay. Yeah, so any anyone that didn't get animated by the spell, when that does resolve, I'm gonna bury it. See. Okay, sure. And Cashew's version of bury it. See. Is- <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Tie a cannonball or a, one of the mass breakers to one, and then tie them all together, and then <laughs> and maybe uh, that's can we can we shoot we them, them, them first? Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, now that's not be crazy. We're still murder hobos. We have to do the hobo part. <laughs> yeah, well, we're not hobos. We have a boat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself now. I have a residence. <laughs> now, now all I have is murder. <laughs> We're becoming pirates! Oh yeah, this is now Skull and Shackles. Y'all will need to stay alone. I, I finally got what I wanted. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you guys aren't drinking rum, though. That's a problem. You could put corn mash in a barrel on a boat. Yeah, but that's not rum. Yeah, okay, we're just not pirates in the Dominican, then. Yeah. Or the Caribbean. Or the Caribbean. We're, 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 we're mids. Mid-continental American pirates. Yeah, we're, we're, we're river pirates in Arkansas. <laughs> the Mississippi River is right there. Yeah, yeah it's so true. Cool. It's like 30 feet that way. Okay. We, so. we, we stole a junk. It's not a real... <laughs> we stole a riverboat. <laughs> we laugh, but we did have group of pirates at one point in time. Oh I know this! <laughs> so, <laughs> did, so did we! <laughs> the river pirates all throughout Regina. Thus, of the where? song Regina. Uh, okay, got it. Regina <laughs> rhymes with fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ryan Reynolds. Uh, <laughs> but that, thus, the song Regina Pirate by the Master, the former Gordowney of the Tragically Hit. Yeah. So, Cash, you make yeah, that basic. <laughs> every Canadian at that point in time goes, We missed you. <laughs> Bye, Larry Hard, Kevin. What <laughs> good musician you had, now you have Beaver, Nickelback. No, we don't have Beaver. You can't deport him back here. We won't take him. I tried, actually, as per the bets on the Canadian and US gold medal. Hockey game in the last Olympics, he's yours. <laughs> no! <laughs> so the ship gets underway, Cash is very well at sea, is successful. The elfin gods are pleased. <gasps> the elfin gods in this setting are the Viking gods, so you are where they exist. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Joe. You guys get underway, and that night the storm kicks up. You but, guys, but I made offering to Jogan. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. storm. <laughs> There's plenty, like, you guys can see it coming without a reception check on the horizon. You guys will be going into a pretty rough storm. The seas are already getting a little choppy oh, no. in anticipation of it. Just a 45 degree. Balder, leave the fucking worm alone! Boy. <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> Thank you! Thank you. Boy. 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 Oh, that's a God of War joke. I get it. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. Neither do I. Put it on the PC. <laughs> so I don't have to stream it. I don't want to stream it. Not that interested. It's kind of interesting. It's a really good game. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks really good. It is. I, I literally it's had to play it for the entire week at one point in time just to. <laughs> it's a God of War game. Fair enough. You pack. With. You slash. With two. The child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hack, you slash, you child. <laughs> you child rear. <laughs> Let's get a, well, you dog game one, rear. Game one was you child. <laughs> game two. Game two, I don't, yeah, I think you, you did more childing. <laughs> and then you make this one and you actually have to deal with your actions. Oh, you did a lot of childing, yeah, that's not Yeah, wrong. There was a lot of, oh, yeah, Athena. <sighs> Mash X to get as many, like, red coins or whatever as you possibly can. Anyway, storm kicking up. You guys will be moving straight into it. We're heading into the storm? Yeah. Um, can we circumvent the storm? Can somebody with engineering please tie me down, just in case I fall off nope. the side of the ship? <laughs> <laughs> yes! We, I, we can, I can make a CMB check to... Like, I still want to be able to move, but I don't want to be able to move. Sure. That was a natural plenty. Uh, <laughs> you are now affixed to the ship. <laughs> you are the ship. You mean, I was actually, you the ship. The as ship. you're putting together an animated object, I thought I'd to play a ship. <laughs> <laughs> but, not to, I can't feed the medicine. It would have been amazing. I know it would have been cool. You are definitely. I, I think how that works is you get Cashew to pull the ropes tight. Yeah. <laughs> you, come here. Oh. And he melds with the ship. <laughs> a little bit of the magic that animates you does affix you into the ship. Kind of, kind of like down into it a little. Like he figured out how to do works with magic. You can pull yourself off if you'd like to. If you would like the actual number, that is a 33 engineer. You're pretty sure you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Unless you want to. Pardon? 35. He ate another and it was very successful. You, you I don't like wait. Why I say the other? I got a plus I got a 10. 10. Oh, fine then. Yeah. That's fine. Let's make it mechanical. That was a nat 20 for 37. Me. Deal. 
So you show up with a hammer and nails, you're ready to do this, and catch you. <laughs> Pushes down a little too hard. Like that gives the first world appears. Should you have your Goonies app for this character, or is this a uh, my Goonies Tony? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh man, I'm the red man. His character is losing. This is the part where everything shakes. We're sorry, dear. His, his character is obviously based off of the Goonies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Is it not? So what's it based? So that's an homage to Mal. Yeah, it was an homage to one of Malcolm's characters. Oh, was it? Okay. It was a, an ogre bar. Uh, yeah. Why is there a map on the back? Oh. Oh, look at that. That's neat. That is the Goonies map. Yes. One I really met from the Goonies. Super tight. Alright, you can play on this. No. <laughs> those aren't squares, those are strange triangles. I don't know how much space that takes up. <laughs> Anyway, this guy is secure. He ain't going anywhere unless he wants to. It's just a prop. <laughs> He's just a prop. Hey! That does a lot of damage. That. He fires at the G and he shoots at Gon! <laughs> and misses, because I say. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah, well, that probably takes a little bit of time. All three of you were doing it. Do I assume the ship continues forward? I would actually order the um, the crew to batten the hatches to, to secure the ship itself. Okay. To basically make it ready for storm. Sure. Um, they don't have an intelligence score, so it's just plus 14. Yeah, that ranks in sailors. Well, would it be, would it be sailors. Yeah, but well, would it be considered... That, that would be a sailor. That sailor. would be a sailor. Oh, yeah, that'd be a sailor. Yeah, so yeah. plus 17. Okay, sure. So it would be... So it's what? They're four plus my... It's five. If it's a class skill, so plus the class skill. But they have 14 ranks. Yeah. Because it's half your level plus, plus nine. In. Yeah, plus your <laughs> inch. <laughs> they figure a lot of them do spend most of the time, like, some of them will tie themselves to the mast, some of them are strings of undead, and will take sinew and sinew themselves to the sure. mast. So yeah, they're 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 right. again, making sure that the, the, the ship is not going to keel, the ship's not going to sink, We're not and that cannons. the crew itself isn't going to, you know, yeah. go it's over. Like, take some know. planks and, like, patch over the holes in the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Because it's actually pretty difficult to kill a ship. I mean, the stats for a Kraken in the book would not would make you believe that. But yeah, no, it's real easy. Sorry, it's I, I speak as a, a mariner. Like, <laughs> it's not very easy. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. No, no, it's because like, like, if you get enough water into one side of the ship, it's no. going to... But yeah, close, yeah, having those holes closed is very important. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you guys do advance into the storm with your knowledge. And your crew are all tied, undeadly or otherwise. And your blister. <laughs> Let's have everybody make a quick reflex save as you hit the storm. Okay. It's, it's kind of like it's almost waiting on you as you cross a line, lightning begins to fire at the ship. Nice. It's, rather than being the color of lightning, it's kind of a sickly red black color. Yeah, yeah. Like a wood evasion apply to this? Yes. Okay. Did you know your one grip? No, I got a 13, but I have a plus 10 to my reflex save. Oof. <laughs> pretty good. I'm sorry, 23. Uh, I rolled a 3, but that turns into a 27. Uh, okay, sure. 22, 9 plus 13. Pass. Greg fails. Tom fails. 24. You fails. 24, 23 fails. Mm -hmm. I gotta make it a high DC. Holy this isn't a normal what? storm, this is a magic storm. You guys, like, the lightning bolts specifically seem to target you as they come out of the sky. They, like, come down and then, like, lance over in your general direction. Cash, of course, takes half. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, boy. And you guys can feel, actually, you take none because this is negative energy damage. And I can't hit you with that. Is there a construct? I'm about 90% sure. Isn't that the case? There's a whole list, I think. Like, He's not a living moment. creature, so no, I don't think uh, that. Poison, sleep, right stunning, here. paralysis, non-lethal, mind-affecting, fatigue, exhausted, energy drain, disease, death, and necromancy. There yeah, you go. So I can't. So you take nothing, but it hits you square in the... I thought I passed it. In the, but you would take that. Oh, I should have a vision that I'm aware of. What do I, I hit no, you I square don't. in the... Square I arm! Did. I know oh, you have an arm. You have an arm. Yes, Ten. I have an arm. Square in the in the in the the, the line. The right. Line. You got to ring the axle. <laughs> Thirty-two electric or not like Thirty-two negative energy damage. Cash it takes half. The storm begins to pick up. 16. The wind kind of comes from like all the directions at once, and it's really, 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 really strong. So I have to shake it too. 
I, you're fine. The natural 20 on the vid sub beta, you are just, it's kind of like just sitting in a mild windstorm for you. <laughs> the magic that enhances you stops everything. So, going. sorry, there's 32 damage? Yeah, yeah 30 negative energy. So, 88 minus 32 is a 56. Howie! That is a basically a third of my <laughs> I did it! <laughs> that is a little more than a scratch. Designed. I did better breaking an axe yesterday. Did they get you down to half? Well, he had not as many hit points. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, yeah the flying splinters took a quarter of his health. You should have done that on those mites, dude. That would have been... I... Yeah, didn't think about it. All right. It didn't, was, didn't get an opportunity to do Particles of tiny little mite bagger into someone's brain. Metal. All right, so this is this. So I have a large creature, I have a colossal creature, and two medium creatures. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's correct, but it's enough. It'll work. So I need everybody to make a... I'm kind of shy. I forgot the shy <laughs> Strength checks. The wind, as it begins to pick up, it begins to like coalesce, not like um, like a tornado. Yeah, while the wind's coming up, mm -hmm. he'll cast Tiny Hut. Sure. Okay. Try to negate it. Okay. At least around, at, at least around like a, a key pivotal point, mainly being where the wheel for the ship is, okay. and he'll be right there. Already. So I gotta make a strength check. Oh boy. You do. Well, you're secure. No, you're secure. You're secured. Yeah. You don't need to make that because you're yeah. you are so. You're also, you're also so big. You don't need to. You are the yeah, sure. you are the ship because yeah. you're so awesome <laughs> and you're natural that, twenty. If you're making yeah. that around the the oh, the legs still you're shaking. Yeah, I know. If you're making that around the wheel, I'd probably do that via theirs because we're the only ones that have the knowledge. Is yeah, of actually that. piloting the ship. Yeah. And, and what have you? Okay. And I don't know what your survival is. So before before that resolves, I need to I need to. Have Greg, make a concentration check. Sure. Because we're casting in storms. I forget that's a thing. Uh, concentration check is which? My D20 plus caster level plus mod. Yeah. So that would be a uh, 33. Okay. What level is this spell we're at? Uh, the spell line. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah, sorry. No, that's right. That's, that's only for its avocation. And tiny cut is not a big it is allocation. So I get a plus, uh, so sorry, that is 33 plus. Uh, Spell specialization is like two, isn't it? Uh, four. So that is 37 okay. on a fourth, uh, on a third level spell. Okay, so that resolves. It's difficult, but you are able to resolve the spell. But before, before you guys reach that up, let's get the strength checks. Because it happens like as you're reacting. Yeah. For, so it's strength check for me yeah, as well. You too. The DC is significantly lower for me. Large. Yeah, you're on a different part of the table. So strength, strength is thirteen. Yeah. Okay. So oh, you would fail. Me. I rolled a three. Eleven. You would fail. Fifteen. You would pass. Because time is to go to the defender and Tommy's meta, and that's you right now. So now I have to bring up the, the weather table again. So like halfway through my casting, like I'm I'm in the air and all of a sudden I fall onto the deck. yeah. The spell resolves. You are able to cast it. But you are scrolling, is what I'm doing. Okay, so the blown away size for this is large. So Cashew is also picked up bodily. These two are. You see this happen. You hear this happen, and probably that other too, as these guys are just like bodily picked up by this thing. And I don't have, like, work. we haven't worked, but it's arbitrary. How, what's the speed on that then? I'm rolling. Uh, it's, well, there's a table. You're picked up. And sailboat malarkey. <laughs> <laughs> 1d4 times 10 feet. So you guys are both 140 feet. Oh, fuck. Which can is, I grab him? You can try to grab uh, Rick, yeah. And I'll say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to be percentage size. I'm going to grab, uh, grab my creator with my mechanical arm as he's blowing around. Okay, so Cashew's blown like down the ship. He's, he's not in danger of like going into the drink. Neither is make a reflex save. <laughs> and you guys both take uh, uh, twelve. That does not grab it. So you guys, let me roll for Greg. Okay, so Greg is also just blown like down in front of the ship, and you guys take four, eight, nine points of I think non-lethal. Yeah. So how much? Sorry. Nine non-lethal, and you're blown like you like collide with a mast and like skid. 
Ashens, the four of you. Um, oh, Monolith? Yeah. We're not necessarily on initiative, but... Um, well, actually, if that's the case, then Tiny Hut would cast. Does it have a really long casting time? Uh... Okay. Tiny is a, is, a, is a standard, but it's, okay. it's, uh, range is only 20 feet. Okay. Well, you can cast it 20 feet in front of you. Uh... I thought he was casting it, like... Basically, as I felt the winds picking up, that was... But it picks thing. up, like, magic. Boop. So... Yeah. Magic. Like it happens like as soon as you guys hit the screen, it goes from zero to a bajillion. So I'm gonna try and grab you might this still guy get it off. Okay. It, it, or it depends on it 20 feet. Because the wind blows him that far, but it's not like he's warped. So you hit him 40 it. feet to the front of the ship. Mm. Probably uh, more like the middle of it. Pardon? Probably more like the middle of it. Middle of the ship? Because the ship's pretty big. Um, and let me just quickly. Could you grab the wheel? Check. You can grab stuff like around him. Well, but that would, what, would that be a reflex then? More? Yeah. So can I try to do that yeah, as, exactly. as I'm passing by? Can I grab him? Oh, you can. Okay. You, Colin, can move through this with no problem. Yeah. Well, so my my well, reflex no, check, my my reflex slave save on this to grab something as I'm passing by is a twenty eight. Okay, so you're able to grab what? Mm, you grab like like. The trap of somebody, not like oh, like the shoulder but muscle. Like, like before I'm leaving the, the the wheel area, or... you you still take the damage, but like as no, you I'll, get I'll, take, going... I'll take the damage, but like I'm just saying, it, I'm still in the wheel area, so like that spell resolves. Um, yeah, sure, that's fine. Kind of idea. okay, so it resolves, uh, and Tiny Hut is cast around that that area in and of itself. Sure. Okay. Um, so I'm just basing that based upon the. Um, um, that, Colin, that if, you want, if you want to move, and, you, can, you can move the magic stuff off, but go ahead well, it and it's, it's a 20 foot radius from my location. So, so it compasses this is 40 feet diameter okay. of the ship itself. Sure. So that's probably most of like the up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The eight squares in every direction. The, the tiny hut. That's pretty hey. tiny. It works. <laughs> Colin is like, he's magic to the ship, but it's a natural 20 can move, and you're big enough that the wind doesn't stop you at all. Yeah. So you can do what it is you want to do. So uh, you got like him hooked into the eye brackets with some tracks that like run along. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, I'm gonna make a perception to see if there's anything out in the water, like another ship or something. Sure. Okay. Uh, it's causing this storm. I'm gonna head towards the. Okay. That is a. Seven. So you can't see over the wind and the rain. Yeah. And the energy. But I am gonna get. This dude with the reflex, see if I can grab him. Well, he's grabbed on something, it's not a reflex. So you oh, okay. move to him and you're like, I'm just gonna move him um, and can pick him up. You're inside the hut. Yeah, I'm inside the hut. The, the, the wind doesn't hit him. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, like, it's like a, a still area in the ship. Mm -hmm. we, we have gone from so medieval ship in the hut to normal ship where it's actually like an entire cabin. For the wheel. Yeah. Because yeah, they realize that maybe having an open air cabin where you're driving the ship is not a good idea. Yeah, so from, from, from who's still in the storm? He's here. No, just him. Cashew wants to move. Oh yeah, you're fine. Yeah. I'm gonna get Cashew then. I mean, I Cashew. Wanna, yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason I got blown over last time is because I rolled a three. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. What did you get? Oh yeah, rolled it. There we go. It's eighteen plus eight. Yeah, you're right. Cashew's <laughs> able to. He remembers. He's an angel of fate, and he puts his hand. His hand um, down and, yeah. So I, I, I will try to search. Should not be hot scotches. Oh, this is that an arcana spellcraft? You're fine. I know they're the same yeah, score. Right. <laughs> uh, 13 plus 23, 36. So this is definitely being cast, like, on you guys. But I'm trying to determine from where. Where is a little harder to say. Because, uh, like, the range on the spell is probably pretty... It almost feels like a, like a Necromancer Storm of Vengeance has been cast, like, over that area. And the range on the Storm of Vengeance is pretty big. Yeah, it's real big. Would I be able to determine that, however? Uh, you could determine, like, I don't know what, like, stuff you can do, but for the purpose, like, if you have Dispel Magic, you could determine it was cast by a 30th level Necromancer. You can determine it's 400 feet plus 40 feet per, per level, so it's very, very far away. It will last for, it'll probably only last about a minute, so can a lot I, of it's well, done can, for can I, can, I, can I determine where that 400 plus 40 is? 
Let's see. Four times you could not. three is 12 plus is zero. No, plus two zeros would be 1,200 feet, so it's 1,600 feet away. Somewhere not on the ship. You so, sorry, third, he's a 30th level? Mm -hmm. There you go. Can I, can I, well, so is it closer than that, or is it it's, It seems pretty far away. Is, like, that, is, that, is it its exact range, or is it closer than its range? It's hard to say. Like, you can tell it's not on the ship, and it's somewhere in the, like, out around you. It could be above you, it could be out this way. What would there. I roll to try to determine where it's coming from and, and the distance? The check you rolled. So you can probably try to decide to check. The 36 wouldn't, wouldn't it determine it. Can, it can we remember seeing anything come our way? Um, what do you mean? Like, so, fireball. You throw a red ball and it explodes into fire. Did this yeah, what direction was the storm coming from? Did we see went into it? a comet or something did you of guys that moved into it? nature? And when you moved into it, it was created like over top of you. It's almost like you guys can probably figure out that you moved into like an illusion. But like this is a normal. How, how far away was? How far away from it were we when we saw it initially? Mm, not quite on the horizon. So it it, it appeared on us. It, it looks, it looks we, we, away from you like it was illusion, then you moved in, and then it was something else, that kind of thing. Oh, okay. I'm not mechanic, but like, we'll say just believe, but that's the idea. So if that's the case, then uh, was it, go when we were going into it, was it north, south, east, or west that we approached it from? Because you guys are again, you're going like up north along, like here's just like a rune. Okay, so and you move up the Ohio west. Ocean to the inner sea, and, <laughs> and you do. Everybody, everybody's able to make the hut, and then it dissipates. Not the hut, this spell, because it only lasts for like a minute. Yeah, it just lasts this for 22 hours. hours. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the spell dissipating, I am going to look in the northern direction to see if I see anything out in the ocean. Sure. Uh, uh, it's it's clear. Yeah. Uh, perception as well, actually, for the same thing. Sure. I suppose I will aid because my perception is poorer. Uh, 26. Okay. Uh, that's enough. That's. Uh, it's more than 10. Yeah, 31. more than 10. 31. Okay, so you guys don't see anything. It's kind of just like, just snap calm in the span of a minute. Which, like, you guys are smart and, like, medium high level, so that implies that someone might have teleported and teleported out. Or perhaps, like, there was enough of, like, like a little gate opens, so they're within range, and then they can cast it. Uh, move along our way. Okay. The crew is um okay. my character is it's not like they can drown. Yeah. Since we're in we're at the tiny hut and it's protected, my character is actually going to go down for a rest. Sure. Which is two hours. Okay. He's going to re he's going to the skeleton crew how lasts for how long? Uh I think it's just animated. I'm pretty sure you just have those forever and ever. I could be wrong. No, no, no there's a duration. Mm -hmm. Um you still need eight hours though. Pardon? You still need eight hours. Two. Specific piece general. Your class says you need eight hours. But the ring, I know the ring of sustenance. The, the ring is specific beats the, the, the general rule. The ring states instead of eight hours, you only need two. Yeah, but there's an FAQ for ring of sustenance. Specifically about prepping spells. Prepping spells takes an hour. Yeah. It's, it says, the ring of sustenance says instead of needing eight hours to rest and then prep, you only need two. Prepping spells only ever takes an hour. You sleep for seven hours, then prep for an hour. No, you sleep for eight hours, and then you require an hour to study your spellbook. So in his case, he would sleep for two hours, and then, and then prep for an hour. So yeah, yeah. Seven, three. So no, you're right. Three hours. Yeah, uh, you are correct. That, that, and that's fine. Like, and so this allows a uh, spellcaster that requires rest and repair spells to do after only two hours, but does not. So I can do it in two hours. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to double check in terms of the skeleton crew. How long does that last? Is that permanent? I don't think it's permanent. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm used to GMing on a computer with another monitor next to you. He can pull it up. Yeah, Colin, you can pull it up. I don't think you have internet, though. It has every single spell in it. Go to File, New Portfolio, Add a Level of Wizard, go into its spellbook, or Cleric. Because like master, masterwork tools doesn't have skeleton crew. Right. Yeah, I'm bringing it up. No. Yeah. I, I was looking at uh, one time you Yeah, this, it, doesn't, it doesn't have it. Oh, I have a spell book. This is around the point that I'm gonna lose internet connection. Here we go, here we go. That's fine. Uh, skeleton crew's duration is hold on. 
its duration is one day per level. So twenty. Okay, so I, I'm fine. Yeah. So what I'll do is then I will bring on the skeleton crew back for greater invisibility. Okay, sure. So that'll last probably almost a whole trip to Absalom. So you might uh, need a little more casting. It kind of depends. And that, that's fine. And, and I got time. Okay. Um, but he's going to take great, greater invisibility back and okay. find that. Or do you already do light? Pardon? Light. Light's already in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. While I was doing the changeover, I did light as well. Okay. So that night does pass pretty uneventfully. The, the, the three hours? <laughs> <laughs> the three hour night. It's probably about night now. So, so that, and that's fine. So a tiny hut's still going, which yep. protects over half the ship? Mm, probably like. All of like up here where the wheel is, and then like the stairs, and then a little farther, and there's like the rest of it up here because it's a pretty big ship. So about half, or maybe more like a third. A third? Okay, yeah. that's fine. Um, so that actually gives me back my spell slots. So then, what would end up happening is uh, after he's done that, he'll actually cast Tiny Hut on their uh, the whole ship, basically. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sure. <laughs> Tiny just hut. this part, tiny hut, that part. Is he getting out of a tiny hut? Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's a clear visible force from outside, uh, from inside. It's an opaque from outside. Seems good, seems good. It's so dumb. That's real good. Yeah, it's very good. So dumb. <laughs> Alex, take it. We're going to become pirates and load the caliber and the currency that on a ship. <laughs> It'd be super good for Mazes' wagon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or my war cat, if he's pull this out. Yeah, that's the thing. You can you can do st- shit out, but you can't do it. shit in. Nice. That's where Mal's gonna be sitting right on that yep. war cat. Smoking his pipe and shooting. And his unsightly his unseen, unseen circuit is gonna be he's gonna be just basically Smoking. causing shit. I really wish he would do co- cause more shit with that thing. Smoking fatties. Shooting gay. Hey, so, that's me. No giants. So yeah. So he'll cast. Um, he'll he'll use two level three spells to uh, finish off um, tiny hut on on the rest of the ship, basically for the twenty two hours. Sure. Um, though I I won't say I do it retroact- retroactively. I'll just do it after do my it. rest. Sure. Okay. Instead of using it before the rest, because I'll I'll take that hit. All right. All right. The third. I well, like I don't. I'm not a full caster. You know? I'm kind of. I'm kind of stuck. I got the same problem that that Evan has right now. Is I don't have anything. I don't have a problem actively to deal with. Yeah. I'm Give me some caster call. Uh, <laughs> I can cast some conjuration spells, but uh, I'm just trying to conjure it. something. No. Well, don't worry. If, 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 if you need, if I need you, you'll fly. <laughs> <laughs> Flies always been prepared. How oh, many? Oh. So you can cast fly on the all. So oh, this caster. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so great. It's caster. Arcanists. <laughs> Arcanists are great. You can prepare anything you want, and then all of a sudden, yeah, I'm going to do this instead. <laughs> Seems good. Okay, so the three of you have no actions. The night now, well and truly, does pass. And I'm going to. I suppose I'll keep a lookout uh, going to the north. Looking out of the ship that way. Uh, and I'm actually, I'm actually going to try to, um, because I've already done my rest and everything like that, I'm actually going to try to use Detect Magic to see, because if you said there was a gate that opened, sure. and things like that, he's going to try to keep an eye out in case a gate opens. Okay. And if that happens, uh, he's going to immediately cast a level, f- my little prepped fourth level firewall. Sure. All right, go for it. So that is a 13, what would I add to that in terms of perception uh, or? It could be a perception check. Uh, or you can make it for spellcraft. You can make spellcraft. Spellcraft? So that's yeah. identify a spell, right? It, it's basically you're keeping an eye out for the gate, you're scanning the sky. Sure. Uh, so that'd be a 36. Okay. Cool. You're totally sure you're being scribed, but nothing else happens. No, no gates, no, no. Something like that. And, and that's what he's keeping out an eye out for is that, that spell casting gate. Because okay. he'll target. You'll turn that game. Sure. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Alrighty. Make sure to tell me where it's at so I can pop the, pop the shot. Follow the big ass fireball. <laughs> yeah. Now, normally, fireball is a bee that expands on impact, but I feel like yours is just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That turns, <laughs> into, turns into a beam when it hits. <laughs> well, just to the snow north of Argona. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I forgot for a second there that you can see out of the leaf this tiny hut, so I was gonna have Cashew walk outside and like rope himself to the pants. <laughs> yeah, no. And then just like tie a little slip knot and go, uh, I don't know where. And just stick his finger in it and cut his finger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm care, care. I don't know how to. That shit is bad at knots. I don't know how to magic. <laughs> So keep in watch, keep in watch, asleep, and you're- I'm in the hut. And you're- yes, that's all huts. You guys are so great now. The whole thing is huts. You guys are standing in It is ship of the hut. <laughs> <laughs> it begins to levitate, a whirlpool appears, a crack in his head. <laughs> Good job of- <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh. That <laughs> hurt. Catch you boots himself. <laughs> you, you will not jerk downward with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's real good. It's the best way to kill a dude in the sea. I'm, I'm, I'm making use of the hut for its bed. Okay, okay sure. In, in this don't, way. Don't, don't make me rancor this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, four days passed. I'm not going to say it about. You're not, I'm used to jamming in the dark times, so I can't. Like, you guys see the sun. Mean, each, so each day. Let's recast. It'll re he'll recast as a as it. So okay. um, let me know if, if I need to mark down those casts sure. uh, for the day that we're we're on. Okay. At the top of the day four of your journey, can you get a perception check? Get yep. boarded. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. Dang, I'm rolling poorly today. Ugh. Did you roll actually uh, sixteen? Nine. Would you like to see? Time. Colin can verify. Should I use my hero point? Fifteen. Hey guys, you're all the natural one. Should use his hero point. I don't know. Do you do it? I mean, what's you your perception? It's, it's not about his perception. It's about bad things. I rolled the natural one. one. Yeah, it's probably. Yeah, because yeah. you're probably gonna go over the fucking edge of the fucking. Tiny hut no longer exists. That spell is forgotten by time. <laughs> so <laughs> twenty-five. Twenty-five. That's much better than natural one. Okay, so. Not much, only six. <laughs> Normally. So you guys can definitely tell over the course of four days, like you guys are moving through a major shipping lane in Galerion. Normally it's like you go through the inner sea, down through the Ovari Ocean, and then like Jal Marais, or not Jal Marais, no, Jal Marais is there, but I mean Fudra. Like the India equivalent is here, and all the major trade through the ocean is right where you are. You are the only ship. Dang right. No. Nothing really happens. You're pretty far away from the coast, so you can probably see like where anything in the water, like bodies. No, nothing in the water. Debris. You can see like where Geb becomes a Syrian and nothing's really happening there either, though you're not there. It's just kinda of like on the horizon. No other ships are moving. The sea is calm. There's no are we still being scried? Yes. So I can still detect the scry spell going on us. Are there planks in the water? No, no. The sea is totally just calm and clear and clean. And, and no gates have opened, no nothing. Okay. No above. So something is afoot. That's accurate. You can definitely feel it. It's very, very ominous. And put the foot. Yeah. Okay. If we're being scryed, mm. and I know that we're being scryed, you need to scry back. Not what, I, not what I was going to do. You throw the bird in the sky and someone will see that. Um, because they can't necessarily see into the huts. Right. They're able to scry, are they able to scry on us? Or it, like, am I detecting that they're scrying on us itself? Or are they scrying on the boat? Or are they scrying on... Well, you, you definitely know that mechanically if they try to scry you, it, it provokes a will save. And in flavor text, you would know, like you'd feel that ping in the back of your head, right? As if someone was casting. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you're not being scryed, it's like it's part of the ship. Is the ship? Scrying. Yeah. So he's got a black bubble mm. on the scry spell. Okay. That goes all the way through the ship and does protect the lower decks. That, that's, yeah, basically. What? So you, what I'm going to do any is I am going, are going to... Um, be my ship disturber self, because this is the issue as I tend to look at the rules of book and break. 
Anyways, that's you. <laughs> um, he is going to cast Ghost Sound. Sure. And he is going to cast the Goat Sound. Go- <laughs> ghost, ghost, ghost Sound. God damn it. The Ghastly Goat. Uh, of a massive leak. Okay. Yeah, the uh, the the thing that makes ghost sound also a very good cantrip is it's louder the higher level you are. Oh, nice. Okay, sure. sure. So quite literally, what is going to happen is it's going to be a crack, a loud crack of wood, and the rushing of water up through this crack. Because I think at eleventh level, you can mimic the sound of a couple hundred people's worth of volume. Yeah. Wow. Correct, so. And it's one round per level, so it's for a the next, four eleven rounds, yeah. and I can continue to cast it. Because it's a cantrip? Because it's a cantrip. Okay. Uh, Do we know you're doing this? Well, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to just... Um, you can produce as much sound as four normal humans per caster level, so a maximum of 40. Mm-hmm. Which so I, I would definitely... That's, that's probably a cracking yeah, sure. So that's a will to disbelieve. Will to disbelieve. But the, but the issue is it's only will to disbelieve if they realize that's what's going on. Mm. With the the, the, the the tiny huts, if they don't they actually know what's going a on. A bunch of black hemispheres over top of this ship. So they don't know that I, that nothing is actually going. So they can't technically. That's fair. will save. Yeah. Because yeah. they aren't exposed to the illusion. Well, they can. can they can hear it. But they can't see it to disbelieve. Okay. They, they have no reason to disbelieve. Okay, there. that's fair. Which is the hardest thing to argue. It is. I really want Sorry. to let me play an illusionist. <laughs> I'm good though, it's always totally fine. <laughs> My favorite caster is an illusionist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of my DMs had an entire dungeon set up, uh-huh. but the doorway. They had like a fast travel doorway out, like in Skyrim. Mm-hmm. And I literally said I kicked the rock down the hallway. And he's like, where do you kick it? And I rolled a die to get a vector, went right through the doorway. Yeah. <laughs> and just like, I hate you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no. Welcome, welcome to how Again, this is more for an IOPC standpoint. I don't tend to play characters that roll against the DM. I have DM roll against me. It's much better. <laughs> okay, so a bunch of time passes. What I'll say is the first one does expire. The eleven rounds pass. See, I don't you continue. Play. I, 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 I continue it with with the the large sounds of um, the crew moving around. Us screaming that the the ship is beginning to take on water, etc. Okay, fair enough. Do we want to come to a full stop? Yes. Yeah. Seems good. Okay. So I still have. It's almost, it's almost input on you guys. I was going to say I'm not. I don't think we can come to a full stop because we would have to drop the anchor and you. Would no, no. So it would be, but it would be the it would be a slowdown. Yeah. The idea is that you're slowing down as if. As if you're taking on water. Sure. Yeah, we would. Uh, and uh, like bilging and. How what, what's it called when you have? raise your sails? You raise them? You have raised sails, not, not, yeah. How many skeletons do we have? 22. 22 multiplied by 6 is. Yeah, uh, that'd be 22, uh, 22 multiplied by 6 is 132. Why is it how deep is the ocean? Is? How deep is the ocean? What kind of question is that? Depends Why? where. Like, the how deep is your love? How deep is your love? <laughs> so we, I don't know if we have an actual anchor, but we have 132. So you're gonna use the little red monkeys from Toy Story? <laughs> <laughs> but, well, and that 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 is a fair assessment and fair use. Yeah. Um, where we could use those to essentially slow ourselves down. In a drag line. Yeah. yeah. In a minute. In, in a minute. Fucking monkeys in a barrel with the crew. Yeah. Uh, oh. But if they do that, won't they be going out of the tiny hut? And, 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 and that's, the, that's the issue. But if they're under the water. Uh, however, what we could do with the anchor is simply drop it halfway, which would actually increase the drag of the ship. Next. Versus the actual. No, uh, my, my issue is the noise of the chain off the side of the ship. That's true. Yeah. The would you, would you drop anchor to fix a leak? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. There you go. <laughs> That's the question I should have asked before I. Asked. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> you don't want to sail, have to worry about sailing into something while everybody is yeah, focused on that's fixing fair. a hole. That's fair, yeah. Okay, sure. So you, basically what we would do is drop anchor to half to slow the ship down. Okay. As if the anchor... So the, the essence is it would mimic the, act, the taking on of water, slowing the ship down. Mm -hmm. The breaking of the anchor in terms of we tried to stop, but we were going too fast, which the anchor cut off, sure. but the anchor itself is causing enough drag to slow the ship down. Okay, that makes sense. And nothing... Oh, sorry, out. sorry. The... Welcome to the mind of work. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the people I like to GM for. <laughs> okay, so nothing's happened so far that would provoke my will save. So, so it's still got an input on you guys. They're a bit of an inferiority complex. <laughs> You're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, basically the, 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 the illusion ends up being that we are taking on water, mm -hmm. the ship is about to sink to the bottom of the ocean, mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, and, and, and the unfortunate thing is that the, the person on the other end has no idea that this isn't actually happening. Right. Do you have an alarm? That is true. Yes. Is that off an alarm? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Wait. So <laughs> the, the whole purpose of this is we're feigning a broken wing to get them to actually attack. Yeah. Yeah. And he's going to cast alarm on the ship. Sure. Right. I was going to be like, how far away can you throw it? Because as soon as they enter the water on a ship, it would ping. And that way we don't have 360 degrees of where are they coming from. Granted, we still have 180 degrees. Alarm is... 360 this way, but we don't have 360 that way. This one shot is suddenly become the hunt for Red October. Because <laughs> it's turned into a submarine. <laughs> Sean Connery <laughs> is my hero. Uh, Just don't ask him to do an accent. So, uh, yeah, so what he'll do is he will actually do a four-point system on that then. Okay. Uh, where he'll do it off the bow, off the sides, and off the stern. Sure. Bow, stern, port, and starboard. So yes, it's like cones. Is that a... Well, it's, it's a radius. Okay. So what he'll do is he'll put it off each side of it and anchor it to... Basically, the idea is he's anchoring it to the ship. Sure. Okay. Where it goes out 20 feet in a radius. Okay. The idea is it stays with in the ship uh, on those axes. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. That does resolve. Which is a level one spell, so I'm just going to mark off that I've got four spells cast there uh, for level one. And can that go through Tiny Hat? That can go through Tiny Hat, can Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Alarm, alarm works with, the idea is Alarm works with Tiny Hut. Okay. Um, but the what usually what you want to do is, a, again, a four point system with a Tiny Hut. Sure. All right. <laughs> so nothing's happened though with the book, I will say, yeah. I almost have like held actions at this point as you're doing that stuff. <laughs> you're just like, crap. No, it's really good. I enjoy this kind of game. I don't want to just like have the same like, we're going to fight it. We're going to fight it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but there will be a fight it. Don't you worry. And that, uh, again, the alarms last for 22 hours. Understood. Similar to the huts. Okay. So, so, um, are there any... Basically, again, that would depend on how much longer we go, because in terms of resting versus what have you. Sure. All right. Well, listen. Boomy. Cashew. Yeah. Two I'm weeks. just waiting. Waiting for something to trigger the alarm. So the is game there... becomes Tommy versus Greg. Is there a crossbow <laughs> around? A usable crossbow? <laughs> There's cannons. Yeah, the position that's, has cannons. That's a negative... A lot. Cannon. Yeah, you can find a, a non-enchanted, like, masterwork like crossbow. Yeah, we got a strength of 26. Can I pick up a cannon? You can try check. <laughs> <laughs> it comes to, like, a Chinese bomb bomb. Uh, he's uh, play, he's playing... He's playing yes, like Fallout 4. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't see that building. <laughs> All right, so Cashew has to strain a little because it's bolted down, but it's able to rip it up. Cashew has a good idea. <laughs> oh no! Uh -oh. And you are able to find like a master crossbow and enough bolts to last a one shot. 
This is one of those weird situations where Cashew doesn't know what to do. So he eats the rock? Well, yeah. No, Cashew knew what to do there. He was an agent to fate. Uh, that triple zero is what saves your life. Shoot yeah. across the brain. Right. Yeah. That's where we're, we're in one of those... We're in a situation where I don't have something to respond to. Yeah. Which is yeah, kind of Cashew's whole deal. Yeah. Uh, so... Um, so are you guys just ready to shoot at this thing? Is that what yeah, I mean? Yeah, he was like, man, I wish I had a crossbow. And I was like, yeah, I can't wish he had a... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because you will have the second biggest crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, How long does fly last? Uh, it is one minute per level. So that would be 11 minutes once I cast it on the person. Essentially, uh, it would persons? be... Yeah, oh yeah, persons. It's a very it's a very long time in combat. Basically, it's going to end up being... Um, that's going to be cast on the second round of combat. Yeah, it's 110 rounds. Yeah, that's super good. So what's round one, then? Second round of combat. Cardinal? Yeah, of course. Pardon what? What's, what's up? Round, round one? Round one. Round one for me? Great invisibility. Haste. Oh, oh. Yeah! <laughs> Fair enough! <laughs> Walks right into that one. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Better than... Never mind. <laughs> haste and ballista. Haste! 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 <laughs> fly! Fly! Sure! Fly! <laughs> Guys, all right. <laughs> it's a colossal ballista. What is it ready? It's a flyer. What? <laughs> now she would have got that cloak so we go. I am super ballista. <laughs> if you were literally any other kind of siege weapon, that would be impossible. <laughs> you would try to catapult your whole body. <laughs> 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 And the best part is the ballista's probably got like the wings yeah. from like it's got well, wings. World of Warcraft, like the Warcraft three night elf ballistas. Yep, with the wings. <laughs> <laughs> or God forbid, you were a fucking cannon or something like. <laughs> you become the tanks in Grand Theft Auto with the no, 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 you, you turn you on your fly. You the hover tanks from Sergeant Payne. Fair enough. Sorry, was it was it Sergeant Payne? I think it was. It's, uh, what was the fucking military one where they... Uh, no, it was uh, the Steve Martin one. Where he fakes the hover tank. Yeah. Isn't... Is there a single video game, like, honestly, that doesn't allow for firing backwards to move faster? And eventually take off the ground. <laughs> you mean like GTA where you have the tank and you're firing backwards over the ramp? That's how you get across my city. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how you do <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna say about, we'll put it on the next day. Five days have passed. You're still being scryed, he's still there. But I have that. Um, the will save hasn't been provoked yet, so I can't. I'm gonna get around The. He's not like. Whoever scryed has isn't like, oh, they're thinking we should attack. Actually, actually, it's been 24 hours. Mm. I want this goddamn wolf filled. Yeah, that, that's fair. Let me. I know my. The idea is, and, and at that point in time, he does have um, minor illusions. So the idea is that he's reducing okay, the that height that works of the ship. The ship. Okay. <laughs> erase, 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 erase. Yeah. You know, I mean, you'll have to also make the. Basically, it's a we're we're redrawing the ship on the screen. <laughs> They'll eventually have to make the leaf like less loud. Yeah, oh yeah, and that's that's an accurate description. Basically, okay. it lasts, and you basically reduce it as so are you as we are theoretically repairing the non-existent leak. Yeah. Are you illusioning the water up? I'm illusioning the ship down. Yeah. But he can't see the ship. All he sees are the, he the magic sees, spheres. He sees the spheres. And he would see the masts coming out of the spheres. Yeah, he would see. So you illusion the, the masts down. Okay. Okay. So then I have something to interact with, and that's I can have a will save because I see that. Is that correct? Hold your feet still. Uh, as the only thing would be whether or not he disbelieves that it is actually sinking. Okay. That's fair. Based mm -hmm. upon the information that the guy has, it would appear that the ship is actually sinking. That's fair. 
Okay. So he has an interaction with it. He can see that the masts are going down. He knows there's a full caster present. Okay. Uh, let's have a run of the check. That would be my strong suit. Sure. Uh, it's not one of my major skills. Oh, there we go. 19 plus 5, so 24. And 24. 28. 28. 15 plus 9 is 24. Nice. 26. Not bad, fighter. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to take this pretty bad video scan. You're real careful with it. Because okay. I don't want to break your stuff. I'm a seeker. Seeker. Okay, so this blue box is essentially like a bubble ship. I'm real good at drawing. What am I going to use for a colossal creature? I'm it's not literally prepared. one of these plus one. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, mm, yeah, I, yeah, um, phone? Yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. I actually have maybe a phone. Otherwise, it's your phone. Oh, nice. Someone came prepared. So. The Canadians weren't allowed to bring a lot of shit. So this is a colossal, like, one, two, three, four. Yeah, America doesn't like it when we bring shit on planes. <laughs> so this, these two represent the ballista, and then there's minis floating on the table for you guys. If you put yourselves on where you'd like to be. Ah, uh, where's the, the wheel, essentially? Mm, we'll say, because that's relevant, I'll, this D6 represents the wheel. Okay. So my guy is going to be... Slightly ahead of the wheel. Okay. Okay. And then oh. the ship is going this way. Yeah. Also, stand. So, are you then closer there, or where are you? Are you, are you driving? This is a really yeah. weird. No, well, to are you driving, or is it a skeleton? Are you driving, driving or is it the skeleton? Is so in so the so We're going the way, way, right? Yeah. So, wouldn't we be directing the skeleton? We're not He's directing the skeleton, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm next to you then. Sure. Okay, so. I'm up there, facing out. That shit's got a stain in the hut. Stay in the hut. Stay in the hut. Stay in the hut. Stay in the hut. I'm sure we're spiking real hard. Oh yeah, no, real bad. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> just, just normalize it, nuke the volume. Yeah, no, you need to, uh, you need to put it in Audacity so you can run through depression. Uh, you, we can do it after so this. You can teach you. Me. Yeah, yeah, sure. So you guys all see a tentacle appear out of the water. I'm not calling for initiative necessarily, but it's there. Uh, can I identify what that tentacle would be as in Kraken? No. With the knowledge check, yeah. Sure. Um, uh, are we doing the same as Adam where one roll for all yeah, knowledges? That's fine. So that is sadly a two. So 25! Okay. Keshu has no knowledge of 21. 21. That's how I felt playing Jim. So today. 27 with an eight? That's what I mean, if you want to eat him. Sure. Yep, so you're 27. Well, I, I only have engineering and engineering. Is there a result of higher than 10 day? Yeah, yeah no, it's 10. 10. It's 10 on oh God. I do not need. <laughs> Ballista. How would the a ballista boom me? Uh, would the ballista like to aid? You might as well. I don't have that. any knowledge of strain, but I can try. You can hit that tip. Yeah, hit I got, a, I got a plus nine to inch, so. I don't know what a crack is. I don't know. Yep, okay, so it's. <laughs> it's on, his, on, his own, on his own, Rick isn't totally sure what manner of aquatic monstrosity that might be, but betwixt these two and their eight and others, you determine that it's cracking. It seems to be just kind of scouting the ship out, and it's like its tentacle has come up, which means it's probably about to like touch the ship or swing at the ship. Um, in that case, I would direct the ballista as a defensive weapon, so I would have Boomy. You <laughs> hit Yeah, no, we're not sinking. Yeah, we're not sinking. So I hit it while it's it's probing. Okay. okay. In that case, let's go ahead and roll the ship. Basically, the idea is it's going to, he's going to preemptively hit it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, it technically, it would, be a surprise, it. it would be a surprise round. That's fair. Yeah, That's fair. I'll, I'll, I'll let the surprise round happen. Um, but the illusion would stand because you're not. Because he isn't able to touch it, yeah. That, because he wouldn't be able to touch it. Okay. The idea is to scare it off as if you're defending the ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's still sinking. Mm -hmm. Fun. I, I break things. You do? Yeah. It's great. 
Oh. Uh, we nice. should not play a long standing game together when I have intelligence. That'd be great, it'd be so good. I'm mean, usually a DM. <laughs> The only reason I don't TM is I play with Adam. Yeah, it's a 30. <laughs> Alright, so you have a 30. That's a good 30. Uh, my... Yeah. Catch your pass of 22. I mean, it's about 22. Here we go. Uh, mine's 20. That's funny, so 22 from... Ashton. Nice, I love when they fall in like that. And then we have... Oh, uh, Scribble. Greg, yeah, Scribble. And then we have... I don't really okay, so the surprise round happens first. Alright. You have correctly identified that as a crack. So it, it, it is it is just, um, uh, vulnerable to your energy thing, right? That would bypass. It is living, so yeah. If it has an armor bonus, it'll bypass it. So, yeah, so I'm gonna put on that brilliant energy. Okay. And I'm gonna shoot it. Sure. Uh you tell it as I No, basically. It's like I stick sense. my finger up this front. I mean, um. Okay. <laughs> Check that prostate. <laughs> Flip the switch! Woo! The was 24. That is. They hit touch. You, you're not hitting the touch. You see that it resolves, and in fact, this guy can't even all natural armor. So okay. I'm it. But you do definitely connect. Alright, so. I'm determine my maximum. I know what Kraken's maximum was. I had an encounter where it was like 20 Kraken's. Brilliant Energy just does that, if I remember right, correct? Doesn't do anything else. It, it just allows you to hit a touch AC it's versus just, an AC. Touch. Anything with like armor. Yeah. Okay. And uh, um, we can have an argument on this. <laughs> touch. You resolve touch. <laughs> then, then you can have the argument about skates. Are they living or are they dead? Yeah. Uh, for thirty-two damage. Thirty-two points. Okay. Understood. Thirty-two damage. And then, and then, do I get a move action or not? You do not. It's not not that you get a stand or move into surprise. Yeah. But then it goes to initiative and you are first. So that's hilarious. <laughs> okay. You fire into the Kraken cycle, it recoils back, it says something and you don't know it's underwater. Well, the tentacle's not, but the rest of you the bubbles to indicate angry speech. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's uh, time. A little bit so, comes up and it pops and goes. I'm going to reload as a move. Sure. It's like uh, from the again. Uh, <laughs> The, the fucking chick from D'Antwerp, <laughs> Yolani. Fuck you! <laughs> I was thinking more of uh, Spongebob. That's... Uh, that's 24, that so... Is... Uh, roll 8 more D6. Roll 8 more D6. 30 damage. 30 damage, alrighty, I understood. Let me get a plus 1. Or minus 1. Do you get a full round? You get a full attack at this You get a full round. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I use part of the. You, round you have about. rapid reload, so it should be less than a move action because you are. Yeah, you, you get a send. You, oh, you're essentially you. like get rid of a pocket of the loogie. You, so you, get, you get a full attack. You, you get yeah. three. Three. Yep. Yeah. And base attack eleven six one, so this is five lower and then ten lower. Okay. So, okay. It's twenty four minus five. Mm. Yeah. Twenty four nineteen and eleven. Yeah. I don't know. Fourteen. Twenty four nineteen fourteen. Okay. Seven plus uh, nineteen. Yeah. Yep. Twenty-six. That is twenty-six. Fine. Okay. Then fourteen. Oh, it's it is on here. Ooh. Right, it's easier to point. Yes. Okay. What I even do? I don't know. You careen forward and hope you can swim. <laughs> That's a crit threat, isn't it? Uh, um, that's the one. It's mm, don't you have to prove critical? 1920 standard, ballista. and it's a ballista. On a biastola, so I'm uh, grabbing along a seat of time. Uh, skill and feats that's over here. I got critical focus, improved critical. I can't take it because it's not a weapon, it's a siege engine. That's you right. can take improved critical choosing a siege engine, can't you? No, it's not no. a weapon. Oh, uh, okay, fair enough. So, it's, it, it, so basically, what's, what is your critical threat? 20 times here. Um, yeah, Part, it's, 19, 19 to 20 times. Can't do keen on? You can't. Okay. So, what would we have 17 plus. I'm sure you could add the enchant to it. Seven, or, uh, so 17 oh. plus 14. So that would be a 31. Yeah. Is it? Is it your, your third bad plus 14? Yeah. 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 A 31 on that. It's so really close. close. It's really close better than that. Alright. Through natural armor? Yep. Through natural armor? It is not. Because brilliant energy ignores non living power, and natural armor is. That's kind of living. Yeah. It's living enough. Anyway, if that's all, it is Cashew's turn. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Cash you will hold. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, what's Rick got? 
uh, he is going to cast haste sure. on everybody. Okay. So maybe even some of the skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> some of the skeletons. The ship picks up and speed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's going to cast Haste, which is level 3, so that gives you guys the, the advantage of Haste. Sure. Uh, the Haste effect. It's plus 1 to attack, plus 1 to AC is a dodge bonus. Plus 30. 30 increase to speed. your speed to a maximum of double your speed if you're a dwarf, you only increase to 40. Plus 1 to what? Plus... Uh, you went too fast. Plus one to attack. Plus, okay, I'm adjusting. Okay. Yeah, you probably have a modifier. Yeah, you it's care lab If you go to adjustments, under spell adjustments, there's haste. Uh, Seems good. Adjust. Yeah. Okay. So, that's, that's, that's Rick's turn for this All turn. Alright. Oh, yeah. Alright. Um, okay. Yeah, that's all I, I, I can do, is I basically the idea is I was hasting you guys, so if you needed to throw something. Yeah. Well, oh, plus... You don't know how to work a cannon? Or fire, oh, fire I, a cannon. I forgot <laughs> it was holding a cannon. Seven, uh, and the idea is, it is basically the next round I'm going to fly you guys. Uh, 17, 20, 30, 30, 30 is right. <laughs> So yeah, two, remember extra two attacks at full BAB for full round action. But it's not round. Well, I don't have to reload, so. so it's still a move action to reload the crossbow. Yeah. I can throw the crossbow. You certainly good? Rage it! <laughs> uh, sure, why not? So, <laughs> so you're here, he's here, it has a... Yeah, never mind, that's way too far. That's more than 50 feet. So you can move to the uh, area. Yeah. Right, but I'd have to still be within 30 right, feet of him. For why? Five. Yeah. As long as... Basically what ends up happening, as long as you're in 30 feet of him and 30 feet of me. 30 feet, 30 feet. It's 30 feet from the farthest two. Is it 30 feet from the farthest yeah, two? Yeah. I it's thought a 30 I was going to change diameter. From me, right? From one target. So if every I target him. Every target has to be within a 30 foot diameter. Yeah. Of me? Of, of the each. farthest two points. Yeah. And, well, okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, it's no two targets of which can be farther More than 30, 30 feet apart. Which they aren't. Yeah, yeah, you're in a whole bunch. And even if, even if you were to move, you're not necessarily 30 feet away. Yeah. I'm just taking I miss my little tool. This catch you out of that hold anymore. Yeah, I'll enter the initiative here. Sure. So you go. Uh, catch you, well, if um, he's going to take aim with his cannon, he's going to fire it. Boom! I'll figure it out. You can probably figure something out. Yeah. Uh, so you're taking a minus four because you're not proficient. You don't know that. <laughs> I'm a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't have rapid reload. Or you don't have rapid reload. No. So definitely, there's one attack. But it also takes like two rounds to reload on this thing. So when you're going one, 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 D20. I'm gonna make, I'm making a full attack. But you don't, how are you gonna reload it? Hold on. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine. Okay, oh, I'm holding on. Huh? Match for turn. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to get from a natural toy. Okay. That, that will definitely connect. Is that Chris? Yeah, he is Chris. So okay. can Chris? Is that a twenty times, times four? four? Times four? Times four? Oh times God, four. it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's a times four. All right. <laughs> I oh, think. Um, <laughs> I double check. He's living by camera. Oh no, it, I, it's not a feat anymore. Dead name. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So that's a, what, plus, uh... My basic six. attack bonus is 9, so 1, 4, 8, so plus 6. Sure. So that's 24 points of damage right. before I roll the dice. So, before we roll dice... So roll dice on the, the cannon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what's I'm the gonna, damage gonna, on us? I'm gonna look at all the cannons that I have, and then I'm gonna roll a dice to determine... That what, do you want me to roll cannon, to find it? Or? Uh, there's a lot of cannons. That has more. That has cannons. Cannon, or Fiend's Mouth, or Fire Drake, or Fire Worm, I think is a cannon. Or, yeah, it just shoots like a gap of flame. Though, okay, right? that's not a thing. Okay, so it looks like there's three. So I'm gonna reroll if this is a four. I've rolled a one. It is a standard sixty-six cannon. Do you want a four? So me to roll sixty-six automatically on here for you, or you want to do it? That's only sixty-six. That was not so bad. Sixty-six <laughs> is four. Oh, two four six eight nine ten. Forty, fifty, fifty-two. Fifty-two. Yeah, fifty-six. Okay, understood. Fifty-six plus twenty-four. 
Yeah. Times four. No, no. Twenty-four is already times four. Oh. Okay. Got it. It's fifty-six times uh, plus twenty-four, so you're looking at eighty. Okay. In that case. Yeah, and then the, oh, up. the second D twenty was only a three, so he goes. <laughs> and he just hurls the cannon like bodily at the Kraken, and it doesn't do anything. Yeah, you hit the water. You got, you hit where he was after he took a cannon to the tentacles. Stupid yeah. calamari! <laughs> Cash, you hate seafood, <laughs> but seafood sauce and garlic butter. I like fish broth. I don't like fish. It's the same thing. I like. I don't like tomatoes, but I like ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> very processed, very different. If that's all from Cashew, that's pretty good. That was nice, I like that. The Kraken is going to, the tentacle goes away. Cashew with an ancient of fate. Cashew with an ancient of fate. <laughs> He's gonna, the Kraken is gonna reach out and like, touch the ship. I'm, basically, it's here to provoke the little save. I roll A, natural 15, and add, oh, I think I add more. That's terrifying. Not dumb, but it can't be that smart. Magic jarring to my Yeah, it can't, it can't be. Is it the Kraken? Yeah, well, the, the Kraken is making a little sense. Yeah. Okay. And I like 26. To show you people That's a smart Kraken if he's scrying on the ship. The Kraken's not the one scrying. Yeah, you don't need another pair. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, Addy. <laughs> Thank you. That's for you. I'll hold yeah. that wine, but I'll wait until. Uh, Zork can be grappling uh, stuff, but we're too busy playing the harmful of the October. Or with the submarine. Uh, so choice. at that, at 26, uh, that would break the minor illusion. Okay, so the for, Kraken, for the Kraken. The Kraken believes that this is an illusion. However, the Kraken. How would the Kraken relay that to the other person? I have ways. <laughs> how it has ways. I mean, if he magic jarred himself I mean, did into you the Kraken. Remember to cast Beast Speak on the Kraken? No! Or it would, it would actually be. That's a CR 18 creature. It would be more along the lines of the Kraken would have to be able to telep uh, telepathically talk to, the local, to that person. Mm -hmm. The issue is telepathy only is a specific range, and if we are as far away as we, I believe we are, the range on that would mean. Be problematic. So I'm going to leave this to mark the square. It does go back to Colin. So it's so. He's under the water, but he's there. Oh, I forgot to open that bottle. So I cannot see over the. Well, how tall am I? Can I like see down there from where I'm at? Mm, sure. Well, if you wait for six seconds. Yeah, if you just wait for six seconds. Oh, uh, fly. Yeah. But I can already hit it from where I'm at, so. Why worry about it? If you if you can hit it with full attack, yeah, you can hit it. There. Plus you get long. you get four attacks now. Yeah, and one of the extra ones in uh, full AP. Yeah, yeah, so roll two at your highest bonus and then roll your. Is yeah. it twenty four or twenty five? What kind of damage does a a ballista bolt do? Your spear thing. Okay, got it. Yeah, so it works under water. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. going for. Okay, so first spawn is. Plus 25 now, based. Ah, Why is that? Why are you doing this? Which one do you use that? Yes. 7 plus 25, so 32. That is tied defender. Which is in my meta is a tied to the defender, so I don't know. Is that with the plus one from haste? That is with the plus one from haste. And then the other one, yeah. It was 24 before. Oh, okay. Another one, at full. 37. That's. Alright. Let's do 8d6 more damage. 33. Yeah, sure. Um, and another one is sure. 20. Basically, to record that damage. Uh, so that's just a 23. Yeah, I appreciate if we weren't just throwing math into the void. <laughs> <laughs> no, 14. 15 down. 15, 15 with haze. 29. Definitely. Darn. Pretty sure the number we're looking for is 32. Yeah. Okay. I'm still done. Yeah. So, so at least one. once. Great. I am casting fly okay. on the yeah, Ariba. Sure. Including the ship. You've masked Including the ship. <laughs> well, the, the ship's not a people. I don't think it qualifies. There's, there's definitely a way to make objects fly. Yeah, that's true. Can, 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 I use, can, I, can I use one, two, seven of my people? <laughs> 
You can't you make, make ship fly. You can make seven of the of the undead fly, but like that's not gonna lift the ship. Yeah, seven of the undead just grab a hold of the ship and try and fly. <laughs> you, you would need a different spell than fly to make a ship fly. But you can like it works on. Can uh, I was gonna say can levitate work on objects? Yeah, yeah, yeah that fair works. Enough. So uh, all four of us fly plus seven. Seven of the skeletons fly. Sure. And they can do more shit. They continue to move the ship, but their feet are up like this now. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand how it works, but it's okay. So yeah, fly. They just sort of canter from one side to the other. To yeah. Fly to everybody. Everybody fly back. Alright, Cashew, what's up? Okay, what does Cashew want to do? Cashew would very much like to not be grappled. That's fair. <laughs> Cashew would have cast a large person Deal. to make himself huge. Huge you are. The tentacle appears for a brief second. You see weird rocky growths coming out from the tentacle of this octopus and all get that down. Gross! I didn't prep it was that character, but I realized now I could have. To make the rock Hey, 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 it's not his turn now. I yeah. killed you once! <laughs> <laughs> You can back here, you shit. I can't this is a lot of work. I don't want to have to prep that for a lunch. I could have. We'll murder you, Cobert. <laughs> Pac-Man bitch. I think he's Canadian, too. Are you from Ontario? Uh, Intimidate is North. Is the Intimidate a move action or stand? I think it's a standard. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. I can't do that. I can't intimidate the Kraken. <laughs> uh, well, I use my standard to cast a spell. So I am very big now, but... Uh... Aren't you big next turn? No. I thought it was a full round. Large person? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's six seconds. It can't be. That would be dumb. Casting time, one round. Yeah, that takes a full round out of Jesus. Son of a bitch. Okay, right. that's, what, that's what I'm doing. Zoom. I don't know what you got. Um, guess you're going to be a big boy. <laughs> so, that spell just got a lot of speed. 60, right? right? Mm -hmm. Good maneuverability. 5, 10. 15, 20, 30, 35, 45, 50, 55, 60, can't get there. That makes me sad. It's been good, though. I love that. Yeah, yeah, it does. You could move 30 feet and throw something. I don't have anything I want to throw, though. That becomes the problem. I guess I will move to here. I brought some cattle And <laughs> ready for something to get in my range. Sure. Oh. That goes to me. I'm gonna look at the crafted stats right quick. I think I have like magic thundering ship powers. Yeah, Kraken's are awful. Kraken's are awful. I've never used it really. Okay, we actually said wrong. Only we had like okay, a wrist to use your little ball on the water surface. Yeah! I'm gonna have the Kraken. The Kraken's going to full attack too. Well, like the thing with Kraken is they're real slow. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that even this ship could maybe outrun it if it had time to build up speed. Okay. So I have a lot of attacks. It's not gonna bite. I'm not reach with my bite, but I'm, I have reached with my arms and tentacles. I'm going to. There's a lot of them. What is your armor class, if you wouldn't mind, because I have to throw a lot of d20 at the table. Who? Me. Two. 22. 22, okay, so then for the first, for all of these, I have to just not natural one. But just, if you want to use your held action to attack, you can. The tentacle is going to your square. In addition to your... That's only a 17. Okay, that does mess so. No natural ones. Natural natural ones. Ones. Uh, it's basic. Nine. Natural ones. Oh wow. Natural ones. So all ten of these connect. Four. Still enough, we can hit a 45 AC. It's a little harder. 45 is a lot harder for me to hit, yeah. So I have. Who's a 45 AC? He does. Why? Why not? He's a, a, the he's no. a colossal object. He's got like a minus 6 to AC. <laughs> he has a 45 AC with hardness 20. So I think 10 times, that's 100. It's silly. That's dumb. It is the ultimate taste. 
I may die. 15, 18, 23, 28, 42, and then 3 more. 60, 100 damage for like the EODR. Do you want to use your hero point? I used it. Does anyone want to use your hero point? So this oh, yeah. Yeah. So what happens is. I'm not. I might not be dead dead yet, but I'm definitely hurt. Okay. Definitely unconscious. Can I die for sure? How many uh, times did you hit him? All time. Ten? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm at negative yeah, it would be dead dead. Okay, so then what happens? So is, here point. I'll use it. No, I don't have enough flavor for this. I'm pretty generous with my hero points. The Valorous is not generous with that face one. Okay, so you are rattled all over the place and you are pulled off the ship and like thrown back. The Arcanist uses the hero points, so you just kind of like shimmer, 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 and then you are unarmed. That's a one shot. That's a one shot. You can go back. Oh, go to half, go to half. And then it goes back to you all. The Xenicals are all like riding around in this area. Yeah. Right, so they're all over there. I can definitely get that. Uh, let's throw dice. Okay. Still haste it, I think, so 225. So you got that tray? So don't throw all the tables and throw around that's this up. thing. Yeah. Still missed. Um, it was dry fit. Uh, that would be a 36. Uh, you got it. Okay. Uh, 8d6. 24. Ooh, that was bad. Sure. Uh, 8 plus 20, so only 28. Okay. I don't think that hits. It does not. No, Sorry, no. Wait, so what's your what's your initial roll? Twenty-five. So eight plus oh, eight, eight plus twenty five is thirty three. Thirty three, yeah. Which does hit. So okay, yeah. Roll, right. roll your damage for th for that. How many times did you hit? Tw uh, twice so twice. far. So mm -hmm. that's another twenty four. Okay. Twenty four or twenty nine? The top one, oh, the one that's highlighted. Sure. Bit? Alrighty. Yeah, it's highlighted up there. Sure. And uh, actually, now your next roll. The next roll is the 3 plus 20, so 23. That misses. And the whatever plus 15. 2 17. plus 15, so 17. Okay. That does also miss, and then it goes to Greg if you're done. Yep. So. Make Calamari. I mean, I guess I can survive underwater. You don't have to breathe. Yeah. Legs still, son. Shake it over there. Oh, sorry. Polymorph works very similar to the fifth edition, if I remember correctly, in that it, if you polymorph and then hit it, it goes back to its initial form. Does it not? If it's no, I don't. Uh, so if you polymorph it and then kill it, it would like, for example, if you're talking about Bale for polymorph, it would go to one hit dice. And then you can kill it, yeah. now, right? Sure. Yeah. There's nothing preventing that. Oh, polymorph it into a human? <laughs> you allow him where he's getting poor mob polymorph into a sheep. Oh, God. Okay, sure. <laughs> What's my DC? 24. 24? Will. I fail it. I have 16. <laughs> Baleful polymorph it into a sheep. <laughs> Kraken's tentacles, it has a lot too many legs. It's like that weird ride on that <laughs> from uh, that really old cartoon that was very like Conan the Barbarian and Glarp and Gleep were in it and they went woo, 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 and there was a rhino that shot meteors from its horn, why not? And that is what it is, just in the sheep form. It's it gets, it gets a second will save. Nobody hit and it. If it passes that will save, it, it resides it's like spell and it's turn first. No, but like when it's cast, he gets another will save. Which he also he rolls the same thing and fails, he loses all his spell like abilities and loses a sheep. Oh For, right, yeah, you will decide will save to see if you remain. I've never seen a bell for polymorph resolve. Not bad. Okay, sure. <laughs> awesome. So I've never seen a double resolve. I got turned into a snake once. That's fine. So it gains the alignment special abilities, it's gone from some kind of evil to neutral. 
it retains all, it still retains its class level or hit dice. So, okay, it retains its hit dice, but it's lost a lot of stuff. Yeah, and then also get an Oh, no, I lied. It, it has. Smaller, smaller. Yeah, okay, it has one hit dice. Okay. Um, it lasts for permanent. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, it doesn't end if you get hit? No. Like it does. Oh, that, no, that's normal polymorph ends if you get hit, isn't it? Yeah. The polymorph is terrifying. I need to get that. Maybe I think it could finish. Seems good. Okay. So if that's all from. From, uh, ooh wee, all from I have to do Poopy Bubble. I have to remember your name is Rick. Ooh wee! Cashier! There's what? 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 What happened? It's powerful enough to somehow, like, bob to the surface. It's a weird mm -hmm. ten legged sheep. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? What happened? Close to see. Ah. Um, like a gas. I can do that after that he put all of the sides. Is there? Sixty-nine. Nice. I like how you just looked at me and went... <laughs> I'm an adult! Uh, I'm gonna reach down with a gas and like... Come here, little cheese! <laughs> 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 okay. I want to drag it up on there. I want to eat it. Uh, we gotta make an attack roll. I'm an ogre. I mean, I'm not an evil ogre, but I'd still... We I, still eat mutton from time to time. I still, so it's not an evil action. I still put things in my mouth I probably shouldn't put in my mouth. <laughs> like rocks. That's what she said. Hey, you got to hear it in person. Well done. I'm gonna blood rage the free action. Sure. <laughs> Come here, you! What's the, what's the damage on a large-sized boarding gas? <laughs> I'm gonna call it like 2d4. I'm not sure. Wait, what in that? So. What's, what's a normal morning gap? Yeah, I am huge. You're correct. But it doesn't enlarge with him, but it picks yes. up, does it? Yes, it does. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Okay, so if it's normally a d6, I think, then it goes to 2d6. All right. It has one hit dice. It went plus 23. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't it lose like all the damage it took? I won a natural, I spent a hero point! <laughs> This is exactly what happened in this <laughs> tournament. <laughs> when I tried to smash Aaron Yeager, I had it all set up and I raged in it. Aaron Yeager? <laughs> Aaron Black. Aaron Black. Black. Attack on Titan was yeah. Mortal Kombat. Close enough. Mortal Kombat! Oh, two, so does a 22 hit a sheet? <laughs> yeah. Better than much of one for sure. That's just offensive. <laughs> For 5 plus 23 is 28 points of damage. Alright, flavor that kill. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the sheep! <laughs> I'm gonna eat the sheep! <laughs> 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 Actually, calm, calm down! Calm down, sheep! <laughs> You're gonna be a circus you soon! <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you go uh, you kill the Sierra's and Gertrude. The monsters. <laughs> the sheep cracking. <laughs> oh, you're like a weird ogre sheep. You got too many legs. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. It's an act for your roast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as this thing dies, the sea begins to like get all choppy and negative energy and stuff. And you, you get that feeling somebody could ascending at the Kraken, and now they know what's up. The Kraken's dead. And I'm not going to trivialize the rest of the 10 days with combat, because I can't, because there's too many illusions. So what I'm going to do is the last 10 days until you lose that. <laughs> We're just, he's just going to bail for polymorph the next crack. <laughs> yeah. That was real good. That was... <laughs> there, it was going to be that or a maximized fireball. Both have the same DC. <laughs> Seems good. Okay, so... Both spell demise. Both spell demise. <laughs> we has got a little 10 day counter. Bad things happen to the ship, I will flavor them as we go. I mean, that would be easier. Oh, oh yes, yeah, spin that. From where, though? Magic the Gathering 2015 Corset. Okay, so... I'm new, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna... I wanna grab a thing, because I have this in the back of my head to use this. And now we've hit the number 10, and that's important. The first day... I don't know how the last one's going that's weird. I'm digging out the... Plays of Egypt. You guys all lose your sons. I got enough leg of lamb for like everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I got ten leg of lamb. I mean, that's like, like 
Well, you don't eat, so. Yeah, I, I uh, don't understand the whole thing. One, <laughs> two, eight, <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Zero. Yeah. You don't have to eat, it doesn't mean you don't enjoy eating. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, the, like, almost immediately at the sea around you. What, you think cashew can't cook? No, nope. you can't cook. <laughs> cashew roll a two. Cashew eats it raw. Cashew like takes a bit of over for the rare and up new. Cashew takes it to like yeah. a zombie wearing a chef's hat who hasn't got a chef intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> just pork, please. And he. And then he yeah, eats he just eats it's like a butcher's knife. <laughs> and like the lamb's head comes off and just like. Perfect! I just rip a leg off the fucking head. <laughs> One of the ten. Hair still on it, like... Stick it out your teeth. Okay, so the sea around the ship gross. turns to blood, and like you can hear the sound of like acid on the wood as the, the ship begins to corrode all over the place. It's basically going to be ten responses to the plagues of Egypt. Okay, what do we... Do? How does that affect the Lima's tiny hut? Tiny head, I think, is fine, but like it doesn't encompass the entire ship. Yeah. Uh, it well. Okay, so as soon as this happens, what I'm gonna do? Well, he'll yeah. actually cast Tiny Hut on anything under the water. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I'm just for safekeeping. I'm gonna take all of the spare planks and start storing them inside the tiny huts. Yeah. In there. Basically, he's using the tiny nuts to protect the keel of the ship to allow it to continue moving. Okay. Cool. So now we're floating on huts. Floating the hut. Well, if only that worked for Boba. So, missiles, Sorry. weapons, and most spell effects can't well, pass through the hut. Affecting it. Pardon? Miss, missiles, weapons, and most spell effects can't pass through the hut. Without affecting it, although the occupants can't be seen from the outside in the enclosed zone, so the acid can still get through the hut. Okay. 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 So if, if that was the case, then he wouldn't cast it, knowing that. Okay. Um, um, can you spare a resist energy for me? I'm going to be running around on deck. Oh yeah, I've got a resist energy communal. What, uh, what kind of damage is this? Mm, you can again. It sounds like the deck is being, or like the underside is being corroded. It looks like blood probably is acid. Uh, well, it is blood. It's just acidic. Was there anything in the spell book that would counteract this? There's that. 93? 39. I promise I had chosen this one to do the 10th place. I didn't just, nope, you don't get it. Ha ha! Didn't do that. Uh huh. Um. Uh, Actually, give me one sec. Mm, Catch your hands around, grabbing a bunch of woods and stuff. Briefly double check. Yeah, no, well, this is dependent on are you going to dump us a, a keel resist energy before you're doing this? I don't think it's aerobic. I think it's only the actual ocean side. Well, I thought he said it started raining. No, it's no. the, the keel. Sea has turned to blood. Oh! How big is the ship? Mm, mechanically, it would be like a colossal toss ship. It's real big. How big is the keel? How big is the keel? Mm, the standard size for what you would expect to find on like the Pinta. So what? I don't think I have no idea. Hundred feet. <laughs> That's probably not right. Perfect. Okay. My character will cast scoop. Okay. Along the keel. To protect the keel All right. itself. I'm not sure that's how that works. Uh, scoop states uh, with the, uh, you will small vessels to force into existence as a move action. You can direct the container up to 15 feet per round in any direction through the spell. Uh, the uh, spell ends. It's between you and da 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 You can dip the container to pick up or drop a liquid as a move action. Uh, so basically the idea is that I'm trying to use that to minimize the damage to, to the, keel. the keel itself. Okay, sure, that works. 
the rest of the ship will still be affected by that. All I care about initially because we have the planks to protect the inside of the ship. Okay. And the skeleton crew would be directed to strengthen it as we then start to move through. Okay, sure. Uh, to, to reinforce the, the hull. Okay. But the keel is the thing that needs to be... Because that's what's turning us. Well, the keel is what is structurally... I'm thinking the runner. Yeah, okay. The, the keel is structurally the existence of the ship. Yeah. 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 The, the thing that turns the rudder is a big fucking chain. It can take a significant... What is blood in water? What do you mean water blood? Be tears to wine? What are you talking it's, about? it's corrosive. It's acid. It's not actually blood. Yeah. No. Scrolling really hard on the spell list until I get the candy. Okay, so you cast that, it resolves. You're getting planks and stuff. The undead are getting planks and stuff. What are you doing? Hmm. I've got two alkali flasks, but that won't do us a whole lot of good. I'd do the opposite. Alkali flasks? They hurt us. They neutralize. Oh, yeah, no, they've been alkaline. That is a basic. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking because you use them on slime. <laughs> um, just a quick question, actually. Okay. Is the acid bypassing armor? It is. It's, it's, it's always bypassing AC? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, bypass AC. Wall of force? It's 100 feet. You get. How much do you get for Wall of Force? Okay, fair enough. Uh, well, I don't have Wall of Force. Okay. I'm going to represent this again for the... What I do have... For the dudes. Again. And, but it's only a creature, technically. Ship doesn't fall. Well, you <laughs> told me that we basically melded... But that was with natural twenty magic, so he didn't get blown around. No, no, but you—he was melded as into the ship itself. Ish. It was mostly flavor. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna do. In that same thought, he is intelligent because of the soul gem. Yeah. Right. Red. How can we? Could we integrate the soul gem into the actual ship itself? And would that kill me? Is the question. No. Or would it would no. turn you into the ship? You made this. Does that work? I don't um, know. I, I, well, if he is part of the ship, part of the crew, then yes, the, it become his sentience goes everywhere that is connected. Okay. If you're adding him to the ship as part of the ship, he, then so yes. therefore he becomes a creature. The ship ha is a creature a with a ballista. I'm going to say make a knowledge arcana or spellcraft check to, to try to make this pan out. I see the logic. I nail him to the deck. 19. Natural 19 plus 23. You're good. Congratulations, you have to be a ship after all. <laughs> and now you have fly. We are so good at Dungeons and Dragons. We don't need this shit anymore. Because you are all of it. <laughs> this you are now a ship. This is why I keep this guy around, right? Yeah. Um, the, the, the crazy one. I, I keep him around for stuff and like this. As per that, he is going to cast Flaw and Haste sure. on the ship. For the next 11 minutes, you're airborne. You and can fly in at a speed of 60. Or 90. 90? Uh, plus, well, what's the standard ship size? Ship speed? Ship speed? Ship speed? What's ship. the standard ship speed? <laughs> and are you running? No worries. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, that was the most Irish thing I've heard in the last year. <laughs> Are you running? If you look at your other, the ship of ships. Yeah. Uh, I'll say that uh, Booty can feel like several holes in his calf muscle. I guess. If you're running, it's four times your speed plus haste. Uh, if you're flying. <laughs> Uh, not getting anything. If you it's think you're not crazy. running, you're fucking sleeping, mate. <laughs> <laughs> if you said that to oh, Alex right, in yeah. the chat, that was no good. It might Why be am under I there? there? Uh, Ship it combat. might be under gear, but it should be under other. I got you. It's under the vehicle rules. It's the, it accelerates over a series of turns up to whatever the speed of whatever size category of ship this is. 
But we were already moving at top speed. Hot speed. You can yeah. you lower the anchor to fake drag. Oh, that's true. You can feel your tail seeing in the wind. <laughs> your dick's hanging out. <laughs> oh, Paul, Hester, was... you're iron, you sick bastard. <laughs> uh, what, what? Oh, that thing. Okay. Uh, is this a warship? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. He is hard uh, as steel. We are traveling at and being two and a half miles per hour. Okay, that's like a bit. That's like. Fucking two and a half miles per hour. That's, I thought it was like. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm asking you, are we a warship, a longship, or a galley? You're, you're probably. We'll call you a warship. Right, yeah, two and a half miles per hour. Two and a half Which miles. Just 60 miles per day. No, no, so, we, we, so hour, minute, six second interval. So divide two and a half miles per. 60. So divide by 60, so that would be what? 2.5 divided by 60. That's a clock, not a calculator. <laughs> According to this clock, it's fun. It's like so, so sorry, so let, let's go, so what's a mile in feet? 5,280. So 5280. By 2.5. By 2.5. By 0.5. 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 Divided by 60? Or yeah, divided by 60. Divided by 60. No, divided by, by 10. If you've already got it per minute, minutes to six seconds oh, yeah. is ten. Yeah, to ten. Eleven feet per per round. Oh holy shit! Yeah, we get real fast for a minute. Ele- yeah. Eleven feet per round is only two squares per round. Yeah. Plus thirty. Plus thirty is forty. Okay. As we speed up. No, to a maximum of double. So twenty two. So twenty two as we as we accelerate. Yeah. To a maximum of uh, whatever the max oh, speed of uh, forty-four, so forty-five. So we're moving nine squares around. Okay. Which is significantly <laughs> faster. <laughs> yeah, we're good. we're pulling like five or we're pulling what like six knots now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We are officially an airship from Final Fantasy. Yeah. At least until the fly wears off. And at that point, we just start climbing. Just move it like a 45 degree angle up because then you Well, if that's the case, then, you know, I can always polymorph you into a similar category size of... Dragon? You polymorph objects? It's a creature. He's not a creature. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if that makes a difference. Well, I mean, it's called... Is polymorph a spell that offers spell resistance? Uh, it does, but the kind of thing Oh, yeah, you can suppress it. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so you guys have passed the first one. I guess I'd call you feel a lot of holes in your calf and your feet and, and your tail's not hanging out, so that's cool. I mean, as he's flying, we can repel down and start patching. Yeah. I send the skeleton crew. <laughs> they, <laughs> they're working on it, it's pretty slow. The skeleton crew repels down with the extra patch. flies. <laughs> the extra flies when they're flying and that <laughs> retar it, get rid of the barnacles, the ship is gonna look spotless as oh, I'm pretty sure the acid did most of the barnacles in. Yeah. <laughs> Took the top couple layers of skin off the boy. Okay, trying to flavor the second. How do we do this? Okay, so this one is Things can't move through the tiny hut, right? Pardon? Like creatures can't move through the tiny hut unless you say so. They have to come through a door. They have to. They have to be allowed. Okay. We they can try. They can try. Okay. We we have to clean a lot of windshield. Yeah, you do. Because the day passes. <laughs> Welcome to Northern Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Why are your wipers so loose? <laughs> <laughs> it's awkward how this one has to be flavored, because I know I can't go through the tiny nut. So it, like the portal opens and like a reverse grab, well, the reverse grab and that. I just fall back through the portal and then boop, 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 and boop, that's real bad. Okay, so I can't, so they're weird fish frogs. That's what it is, when they jump out of the water. Well, you're not flying anymore. What, Koatoa? Sure. Oh, that's the thing. I'm trying to do uh, the how, how long, Okay, how long has this been? 24 hours. So I get my spell slots back. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I mean, really is there a point? Aren't we just, <laughs> just really deep water bully walks? Yeah. Frog hemats everywhere. So and Ooh. then we get the. 
Okay, so as soon as the gateway opens, mm -hmm. I would detect that, would I not, with the alarm yeah. spell and or my detect magic? Well, you wouldn't detect it with the alarm spell because you roll the time for you to detect it. It opens beneath here. Beneath? Yeah. In the water. In the water? Mm -hmm. They swim. Oh. Therefore, I would like to cast, as soon as I detect that happening, sure. fireball. Okay. Into the water. So you don't have light, it's like right under the ship. You don't have light of effect. Okay. You have to like get under the ship and shoot. Yeah, you have to have line of effect to it. So it, it, it casts underneath the ship as we're passing through it. Okay. So when you cast fireball, it comes out of your hand, and then you like. No, no, I'm, but I'm, I'm asking. Oh, yeah, we're going over it, so oh, it would oh, be okay. behind us then. Oh, uh, okay, I see what you mean. What, what I'm saying is, with the speed that in which we are going, mm -hmm. we would like zoom past that. That's fair. Yeah, I see what you mean. You'll get out, things will come out of it, but you get past it. So as soon as we get past it, the idea is I'm firing into the gateway. Okay. okay. If, the, if, if the gateway, would, I would assume, is still open as we pass by, if it's the speed in which we are going. Okay. Go as long as I can direct the Bastila, which I previewed. Well, the Ballista! Ballista. <laughs> Whatever. The L comes first, it's important. It's my nice little republic. One is a giant ass crossbow. <laughs> The other is a giant ass tortoise. Yeah. They're both giant ass things, whatever. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. And I'm a boat now. <laughs> it may go be a tortoise. Go ahead and roll damage, okay. So, so basically, the idea is I would then fire the, it into that, that game, right? Okay, sure. Yeah, so, I'll this is a uh, reflex right of uh, 24. Okay. For. Maximized enhanced damage. Oh, yeah, you're maxing. I'm not, why am I saying this? This is a level 5. Okay. Spell that I'm casting. Okay. For what, 15 times 6? 15 times 6. Okay, understood. Go on and attack one. And he's you on your deck. Mandy points to the other dudes on the boat. There, you guys can see, like, they have, like, fish bits from, like, the second half, but most of them are fogs, and they're, like, jumping up in the direction of the boat. You so, know, like, magic jam powers, that's what you're hitting. So, it would be 90 okay. points of damage. Okay. Reflex for half. Mm. I might actually. Pardon? I said I might. 11 plus. I can't uh, cast 24 now. I really want so. to save. Okay. Did they. I'll, let me get those here. I'll move to the back of the boat and just start hacking at them. Okay, sure. 35. Okay. Right, so, is that damage? Uh, you want damage too? Damage. Alright. For 31 damage. Okay, so that's it. Crit threat. And. Because okay. it was a uh, 15. Okay. That's not going to confirm. It's only a... Uh, 17. That does confirm. Because you're essentially just chopping a swarm of frogs. That's the best one I can fire a fireball. <laughs> like, it's a swarm of shit. Is it a swarm or are they like man size? Mm, they're swarm size. Oh, they're teeny tiny? Yeah. Teeny tiny? Okay, that, that won't work then because I don't think that does damage. Uh, 42 points of damage. Okay, understood. And I'm pretty sure my range attack does hardly anything against them then. Piercing? Okay. It does half damage. Half and damage, so they do 15. Although, with your size yeah. category attacking down, it actually matters, I think. Did I just crush a bunch of them? Yeah. Yeah. It's got like a maximum range of like Yeah. Percent. Yeah. Well, no, like. If, oh, and he's also firing into a like a swarm. So he's like, also a ship with cannons. Yeah. I yes. do have cannons. Yes. <laughs> 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 and all of those cannons into paper. Well, come. <laughs> You've gone from being a ballista to being a warship. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna. That's an upgrade. I'm gonna cast Stone Call <laughs> into the swarm. Okay, sure. It's an area of effect. It's not a lot of damage, but it's one of the few spells I can cast. Okay. I'm just gonna have the fire animal still. No, not all of them. I don't want to save some animal. Sure. It's just in case. Uh, nine times point five is thirteen points of damage. Yeah, sure. So you I'm just hoping there's something else through that. Game. Amongst the four of you, you guys like you do enough damage. This guy's hacking. These guys are shooting and throwing rocks and throwing fireballs and throwing. Giant arrows, and a lot. You guys definitely see like out here this way. A lot of weird like fish frog creatures begin floating up, and like as you hit the mass, kind of like explode into like yeah, sort of like bugs green. on a windshield. In such a way that I'd like you to make a fortitude save if you would have them, because they're exploding like in your dome. 
15. Okay, let us fail. What am I going to do? No, 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 no. And take three negative words. The, the like necrotic acid frog stuff contacts your body and you feel your muscles like atrophy. It's just minus three to everything. Yeah, you don't have to do math. But you lose hit points, don't you? No. Nope. I thought it was fish. five per hit or five per level. I'll well, double check, but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure in Pathfinder it's just you just minus, minus three, three to stuff, everything, and then like it's minus three to stuff, and then if you take a number of negatives, you will be a penny die. All right, how am I going to flavor the third thing against you guys? Okay, on the third day, everybody make a fourth save. Including the ship? The ship's fine. <laughs> Actually, yes, make a fourth save. You get termites. For each negative level a creature has, it takes a cumulative negative one penalty on all ability checks, attack rolls, combat maneuver checks, combat maneuver defense, saving throws, and skill checks. In addition, the creature reduces its current and total nice. points by five, so you lose 50. FYI, Tommy rolled that 19. I saw it. I saw it. Uh, yeah. so um, that's a 29. I think it's this coming. Fucking dice box is lucky. How many I love this dice box. Since, since the Kraken. Uh, this creature is also treated as one power level Two. lower for the How long since the last fireball? So the fireball? You will let just spell cast. Yeah. 22, right. lose 15. Right. So it's it's been quite a while. So, um, the initial damage I've taken is basically gone at this point, correct? Yeah. So, I'm back at the max hit points, and it's been how long since the last fireball? 24 hours. This so, I would have regained all my spell slots at this point in time. Right. Mm -hmm. um, based upon the fact that there's an active attack going on, I would no longer be casting uh, the illusion spells. However, the Huts would still be going. Are these temporary alongside or permanent native levels? Uh, temporary. Yeah, make it another four tip. Actually, Loki. So in the last 24 hours. Did you make it? Did you make it? No, then you're stuck. Right. In the last 24 hours, um, if I remember correctly, let me quickly. Oh, okay. Yeah. 32 four tip. Alright, gotcha. You failed your second four tip. Uh, yeah. Did you yeah. Work? What? Did you make another four tip? Uh, yeah, he makes a new force of the 17. Okay. That fails as well. Call save is 23. Okay, you fail as well. And you guys, I'm waiting for, well, I'll do this and then Greg can do it here for the day. You guys, like, you're not sure how it happens, but when you wake up the next day, or when time passes the next day, because someone's a contract, uh, you guys feel yourself, like, itch all over, and you reflexively go to scratch, and as you do so, like, the skin peels off. The 32 doesn't like it? You make it. You're fine. You two are fine. You two are not. Like the the, the Yeah, we're past as well. The ship, the ship is itchy. The ship the ship has like you guys have the life like you have termites. Because you don't get a waste stop for ages because you weren't prepared. So you two will take one negative blood. And then I'll wait for Drake. Sorry, just we don't. should probably uh, I'm, I'm just quickly bit. I'm quickly checking here. Uh, based upon... Yeah, it is 5.30 now. Yeah. So you have like two minutes to find what you're going to do, or I'm going to put time for it so you can see the whole thing. Sorry, I'm just trying to use Google here. Mm -hmm. The idea is that uh, with the goal that I have left, I'm double-checking the, the cost of permanency haste. I see. I don't think haste is a spell that can be permanent. I'm pretty sure there's a very specific table for what can be permanent. There's a, yeah. there's a spell at GM discretion. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's just what's on here. Yeah, yeah. but like that's also like I probably see true strike. Yeah, haste is not on that list. Yeah. Is it not? It's not. No. Okay, so basically the idea is that um, every, every once in a while he'll cast haste on it. So I guess I'll, I'll have expended one spell slot for haste on the ship to just basically boost it up to a max speed that it can maintain. Okay. Because as I understand it, with with the way that Vehicles work. Mm -hmm. Once it's at maximum speed, mm -hmm. it stays at set maximum speed. That tracks, yeah. So the idea is that every time I haste it up to a new maximum speed. It's kind of like putting a new cruise. Essentially, right? Mm -hmm. So each time I cast haste, it increases the speed slightly. So you speed up and you stay at that speed. Okay, that makes sense. Shorten the time. So each the time, so the idea is that every Time he rests, he's casting speed again, haste again on the boat okay. to increase the speed. So basically, it's an exponential increase in speed 
Wouldn't it each lose speed because the magic is reducing the fr coefficient of friction? We're not going that far with it. I don't not know the science. Not, not technically, because what you're ending up doing is that the haste itself counteracts the friction. Right, so as soon as the haste goes off, wouldn't it degrade? The idea, though, is that you're not, co you're not counteracting the friction, you're counteracting the other aspects of You're just it. counting out how many fucking negative levels they're going to take for the yep. third shit? Yes, I am. <laughs> so since he's going to go, we're going to kick this in the butt. You guys, you make it to Absalom, but over, like, over the course of the next few days, everybody breaks out in boils that when they pop up um, in your skin. It's going to be a bunch of fort saves. Can I detect the, the magic of it? You can, uh, I'm using jam fires because we're out of time. Well, it's a three level lich from giving the DC. Yeah. So I need... Give them to me one at a time. I'm going to start with calling and go around. Because there's going to be eight for eight users. Eight yeah, for eight users. That's what we're going to Yeah, go for eight days a time. That's what you get all ten players. But does not the initial fort save... It's every time. It's every time. Oh, each time. Yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, let, we need to start with Adam. Let's start with Adam. Yeah. Ten for or eight fort saves. Plus seven, so that's a twenty. It's okay, that's okay. Fourteen. Uh, uh, yeah, it just two, hits four, force. Five. Okay, so. Two, four, five. Ooh. Six. You might die here, bud. Well, he makes one of them, I think. I made the last one, maybe. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so what's the last one? Um. 25. He's betting on anything that's coming, it would be a 25. Okay, 25 just passed. Okay, so this is how many negative levels you take. As the, essentially the 10 plagues of Egypt, you're dead as shit. Yeah, because 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, 15. Yeah, 15 negative so, levels, so I don't have 11. So he doesn't pass and catch you. I will say like on like the 5th or 6th day, his body just kind of like, kind of like corpse explodes everywhere. Um, That is, I'm getting 16, that's a 29, that's a 30, that's a 28, that's uh, a 19 plus 16 is 35. Ooh. Uh, I hear failure. Oh, well, that's a 3 and a 4, so those are, that's a 19 and a 20. Those go. Uh, that is a 27. That passes. And a 28. That passes. So I fail 2. So you take 5 negative levels. Ow! Passes. The plagues eat you apart. Oh, Chihuahua. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, sir. Go ahead and take a point this way. Eight? Yeah. Over eight and stuff. Uh, 22. Okay. 21. Okay. 19. Okay. 20. Okay. 13. Okay. 19. Okay. 12, okay. and that's actually a d12, so I will roll an actual d20. Uh, 27. Okay, that one passes. How many of those pass? One of them. Because they're all 25s. Cash has a plus 16. Cash is going to walk away with his cape. Yeah, I have to roll a 9. So, 6. Oh. 8. Oh. 9. 12. 13. Okay. 19. So, I'm done. Okay. Yeah. And so, does this count as a nether nectar man? Does he have a It affects you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're no. playing a ship because you didn't have a character sheet. No, he has hurt. a soul. Boom. Yeah, fair enough. Soul gem. Alright. Let's do this. I need at least a 19 to pass. Okay. Ooh, rough. I needed a seven uh, to start. Yeah. Well, so I would need a if it was 25. Oh, I right. I rolled way too many. I rolled 86 instead of 86! 86. 86. Let's just take to the top, whatever. The first eight. Well, it orders them, so you have to roll again. Okay, oh, yeah. fine. I wouldn't have passed any of them anyways if you we were just taking the first eight, so. Yeah. What else? Wait. Well, no, it, it takes all your rolls and orders them highest to lowest. Oh, That's gotcha. That's not very convenient. I was going to roll one at a time. Right. No. Or, no, I can roll all eight at once. He's rolling all eight, and then... Which are? Oh, uh, it's on here. I just rolled the eight. Uh, 26. Passes. 16. Passes. 22. Passes. Uh, you, 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 19. You succeeded on one. Yeah, 19. Okay. 
So it'd be 16 times 1, maybe 4, 5, 6. I could roll a bunch of 1s, otherwise Cash is going to have to learn how to drive the ship. Well, no, he's got the stuff. Four, eight, oh, fuck 4, 8, roll. Fuck me, you're dead. So the that is enough. Three days. Well, he has he has a couple more good days. 16. Oh, okay. well, wow. So Cashew is the only one who makes it back to Absalom with the skeleton crew. Cashew is an agent to fake. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're met in the dock by an unassuming yeah, thank you. obese halfling uh, riding a very obese German shepherd, and he kind of just like swaggers out. Here you got the stuff! He winks, when he stage winks really hard, no one in the dock seems to notice. They kind of let him, they give him a pretty wide berth. You know, I was going to be really happy that we were home, but everyone's dead. <laughs> um, Even the ship is dead. Yeah, no, they, they killed the ship. I don't know how. It's been a very long day for Cashew. <laughs> yeah. A very long week. It has. He, uh, yeah. Yeah, so Cashew's, Cashew's got this stuff. Uh, he like he withdraws a bag from like his big old backpack of backpacks and it, like it opens up. It's about this big, and as he opens up, it's just oh, like a couple links style. And he looks at you expectantly. I don't have it on me. Well, go get it. Ah. What are you doing? It's not. It's in the dead ship. The ship's not dead. The ship's the ship. You'd be surprised. No. You would. Explain. It's. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> the ship talked, damn it! He waddles towards the ship. And I guess, like, you help him get the stuff? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I'll okay. walk past the wreck, I'm like, dead. <laughs> I walk past uh, Tui, I'm like, dead. I need fog, I walk past the ballista, and I'm like, thank you. And I pry the gem out, and I'm like, dead ship. <laughs> <laughs> throw it on the deck of the ship. He takes the soul gem and he puts it in his inventory. And he gets all the, all the stuff. And just, Thank you, Cashew. I, I, was, I can't keep her here. straight goddamn voice. Oh, what the caliper. He nods, and his dog barks a little too intelligently, and it sprouts like draconic wings and begins to fly away. Oh, he has hunter level three. Flying puppy! And that's what we're going to call it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again for your support on Patreon, my dude. Say bye, guys. Bye. Uh, bye. Thank you, sir. Don't have to watch it.